Burgers on the Grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD One Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Thursday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. And we do have a big program for you today. We'll get you caught up on what's happening in the world. Deb will do that at 320 with Woke News, 4 o'clock hour. Date night done right with our friend Danny Myring from Orlando Date Night Guide. We'll also talk to our buddy Glenn Klausman for Colbert Gord. 5 o'clock hour, we have in Seb Hines. He is the coach for Orlando City Pride. They home Their home opener is this Sunday at Entering Co Stadium. We'll talk to him. Trivia as well in the 5 o'clock hour plus ross thoughts you heard it here first last call your calls texts and talkbacks all day long welcome to the program i am jim to my left my lovely and very dangerous co-host ms deb roberts hello there straight ahead producer jack bradshaw good afternoon comedy alien ross padgett stoop kid is afraid to leave a stoop all right 407-916-1041 text us at 77031 find us easily on social instagram and facebook at the jim colbert show on twitter just at jim colbert show and of course every day all day at jimcolbertlive.com that's where you can click right through check us out on youtube while you're there give us a subscribe and like like a lot of people have been doing that. We deeply appreciate it. Uh, the more that can do it, we, again, appreciate it greatly. It doesn't cost you anything. We're not going to bother you, but it does help us out quite a bit. Again, that's jimcolbertlive.com. Click right through. Check us out on YouTube. Get involved with the chat. It's a lot of fun. And if you'd like to leave a talk back, you can do that as well. Download the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. And then send your talk back down the line. How is everybody doing on this Thursday? Doing okay. Quick note, that Orlando Pride uh, home opener season debut is tomorrow night at 8. It's oh, Friday night at 8. I wrote yeah, the yeah. Wrong, uh, yeah. wrong date. My yeah. apologies. So Friday night at 8. And Seb Hines, who's the coach, not only was a player for Orlando City, but also a previous judge at the Crime Line Chili Cook-Off. Really? Yes. So, I've, I've eaten chili alongside Seb. Nice guy, huh? I'm sure he doesn't remember. Okay, me. that's fine. All right, 407 916 1041. Everybody having a good Thursday? Thursday's another odd day in my calendar. Oh, but yeah. But I, I, I'm fine with it, you know, because it's weekend eve kind of thing, but I get it. I had a very special Thursday. What happened? Because it had a special mundane moment. How's that? Oh. It's just sometimes mundane moments make you stop and make you go, ooh. I should soak this in. Okay. First of all, weather, fantastic. Perfect. So I, you know, open up the sliding glass door. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm cleaning. My wife is cleaning. We're putting laundry away. I go ahead. I put on the, you know, some music on my phone and some like Jack Johnson thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm in that vibe. Right, right? Some acoustic guitars, mm-hmm. uh, some, you know, white dude singing yeah. on an acoustic. It's a name and an action. Yeah, yeah. So I, and mm. then all of a sudden I just stopped <clears throat> and I realized like, oh, that is, this is what life is all about. This is exactly what life's all about. So that's how I, it that Thursday moment happened. So I'm very grateful for that. I was very grateful for folding laundry with my wife. Very that's nice. Some, Those can be special moments. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, nice. Well, uh, my Thursday was different. I had to take back a machine to Home, De- uh, to Home Depot that I rented. It was a... It was a blower for insulation, so I had to blow in oh. insulation in my attic last night. That's a whole. That's a. That's a lot of fun at nine thirty. Always wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's the. Uh, so I have enough cellulose in my lungs now. That I could cough up a, a ream of paper. If you need anything, just let me know. I can cough you up some toilet paper. <laughs> you know, maybe some butcher paper if you'd like. No fun. How about you, Deb? How was your Thursday? Uh, so far, so good. Um, although I do have the biggest head in the YouTube oh, yeah. feed. <laughs> exactly. And that's I moved my what, computer that's screen me, back a few inches. That's what that, made me laugh when I first, <laughs> when I looked over there, was Deb's entire face was taken. 
I, I, I know Deb probably thinks I did that on purpose. You uh, did, Jack. Be- because of how much she tries <laughs> to avoid the camera, much to our chagrin, because we're trying to present a nice video product for the Jim Colbert show. But really, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> and Deb looks like she's sitting in Dracula's bedroom. Uh, I'll never understand that about you, Deb. What? Your, your lack of self-awareness. No, I am self-aware that I don't like to be seen on camera. I'm perfectly aware of that. But you're a beautiful woman. Why wouldn't you want people I to see you, you and share your beauty with yeah, everyone? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, no. But people are looking at you right now, and they're like, man, this chick is bad. Yeah, I need a piece of so that. So hot. <laughs> so hot. Like, all right, give go me, ahead. Give me, give me. Maybe there was yeah. one day. Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> go ahead and laugh. But I'm I will, laughing. I will be dead ass serious. You oh, and I, we both recognize you, we, we, this is not a flirtatious move on my end. Oh, boy. I don't know. You're a total smoke show, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> total smoke show. All right. Next topic. Great, yeah, yeah. great smile. <laughs> well, beautiful hey, eyes. This topic will always be oh. on the tip of my tongue until you recognize that you are not ugly. Oh, and so if you go to YouTube, search Jim Colbert Show, watch Deb turn from uh, uh, to red, <laughs> like a tomato oh. red. Hey, it's Red Roberts. Whoa, whoa, what's that? <laughs> no, 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 don't you dare. Get it out of there. All right, 407 916 1041, Jim Colbert Live. Laugh all you com. want. Laugh all you want. <laughs> Jim Colbert He's Live. He's threatening me, Jimmy. I know, I like it. It's yeah, fine. Until I convince you that you are awesome. She is oh, awesome. And everybody, thank look, you. here's the thing there's no short of a shortage of people telling her how cute she is. Trust me. Uh, well, the texting service, uh, you know, talks about people, you know, doing stuff for themselves. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't, hey, 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 it hey, doesn't hurt when someone that you work with says yeah, it. Yeah, you're right, and 100%. I'll keep saying it at the start of every segment until oh, no. I oh, see yeah. an end yeah, we're doing that. Oh, oh, no. So it's up to you. I'll make, call her hot-ass Deb. We'll, we'll change your name altogether. Make sure it's only on air, otherwise it's an HR issue. Yeah, we'll call her, we'll call her Deb Utant. <laughs> oh. Oh. HR doesn't even want to hear from me. All right, March Madness We don't is, have one. March, it's, a, it's a 1-800 it's a, it's number. It's a barcode somewhere. Right. Well, it's, it's an AI voice. I think it's Morgan Freeman this month. <laughs> get, get it right. It's a QR code. Right. <laughs> Sorry. That's when they're square. Yeah, but then when you hit the QR code, on. a phone number right. pops up. And then you call that, and it's like, press one if you're angry. Guys, give me a second. I'm scanning because I was assaulted. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Scan this if you were assaulted. Um, So, interestingly, uh, March Madness Among Us uh, game started, was it yesterday? Yes. Uh, And then more games tonight throughout the weekend, of course, Uh, as we bowl down. Tuesday night they had the play-in game, right? right? And then Thursday is the big. So today is the beginning of the actual tournament, right? Yes, I So tonight, okay. So... There are a number of businesses that really do well during March Madness, right? A number uh, of businesses. Don't don't take any guesses yet. Okay. You know. But out of curiosity, what businesses would you think right off rip? That sports would, bars. Sports bars, number one, but now maybe even more so. There's another player in the game for sure. Oh, gambling. Gambling is the answer for sure, right? So you'd figure sports bars, gambling, you know, beer companies. Pizza. You know, all of pizza but Uber delivery stuff. I mean, you figure people are, you know, locked in their houses. There are a bunch of businesses that are going to do quite well during March Madness. Can we all agree with that? Yes. Absolutely. But there's one that you may not recognize that I learned about today, and it makes perfect sense. What business, think way outside the box and really apply your logic face to this. What business do you, and this has been a myth for a while. Lazy boys. No. no. Orthopedic surgeons. No. Vasectomies. Vasectomies is the answer. Yeah, well, Brandon told us on Monday that that was a myth, but you know what? That was a myth. Like everybody, it was a running joke that vasectomies went up during March Madness, right? It was like, was it really true? Well, I read this morning, USA Today did this whole thing. Is it a myth? It is absolutely true. People schedule vasectomies during March Madness because even though a vasectomy only takes a few minutes, Unless yeah. you have a Navy doctor, it's a little shaky. <laughs> it's about four <laughs> days worth of recovery. But the thing yeah. is, it's about four days yeah. worth of recovery. You can't pick up anything over like 10 pounds. Mm. You can't really run or walk or go upstairs or anything like that. They basically want you reclined with something cold on your on your area. Peas. Yeah, peas, ice, whatever the case may Corn. be. Yeah, peas so, on the pea. You want to come over to my house for vegetables, <laughs> 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 So Extra butter on them bad boys. These carrots are musky. It's a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Right <laughs> got her. You got her, dude. Uh, it's a show title. <laughs> you got her. You wiped her out. She's done. That's right. Yeah. 
<laughs> Have a nice day, Deb. It was good seeing you. <laughs> but but I had no idea that it was like a full. Did you had you heard that before? This vasectomy thing blowing up during March Madness. <laughs> I have, I have never heard of that uh, until right now, but it checks out. Yeah, yeah. that makes uh-huh. sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe and, not- so, uh, there's not many sporting events that are this long. I've, in fact, this has got to yeah. be the longest, uh, you know, playoff. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing is that playoffs like, though. That's best of seven. March Madness. That's one of one. That's you one know? of one. That's it. Yeah. One so of- every game has that kind of game seven energy to it. They call it vast madness. <laughs> <laughs> they could have called it March Vastness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, much there. better choice. Yeah. yeah. That is still the greatest future song. <laughs> March Madness uh, still rips. Yeah. I mean, so, you got you to gotta have balls to do this, though. Yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah. Ah. Do you? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, part yeah. they cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's There's what they no do. There's no point in doing it without. Yeah, wow. the, uh, yeah, the highway that lets it travel from that area into the other area, well, they, they cut that off. All that. right, but that that highway mm-hmm. still exists, though, if you have if well, you yeah, don't but, have any. So what they do is they usually carterize it, right? So it used to be called cut, tying your tubes. So that what they would do is they would snip it and then tie it together. Like a balloon. Yeah, like a balloon, right? I but I guess at times, you know, those... Like it, it, it can grow back together, and there have been there have been oh, pregnancies yeah. that have even happened with tubes tied. So after that, they started snipping in. Yeah. Then they would cut a piece out of it, which is where my story come in, can, uh, came into play. Inchworm, right. inchworm. And then they would carterize or burn the end of both of the other tubes and leave them apart. So they're basically there's no chance that there are any like miracle babies. That would be pretty dope, though. I know that would it's not be, a good smell. I, I know it would be a, oh. a, it would be bad news to get a vasectomy and then later on, you know, like have a kid. But mm-hmm. that's pretty cool, though. That that's the chosen one. Oh yeah, you got to name him Houdini. Yeah, yeah, you got to call him something, man. You got to <laughs> yeah, call him da- Batman or David Blaine. Yeah, David Blaine. <laughs> I called you well, Salmon because yeah. man, you were not supposed to go that far upstream. You were not supposed to make it there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you should have yeah. never met the bear. Yeah, yeah, you got to name him Fighter. <laughs> you should have never met the I bear. I had surgery for you not to happen, <laughs> and you said no. Nah. He's straight up Michael Phelps. Yeah, yeah, dude, you got to name him Phelps. He's the greatest swimmer of all time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Hey, what's your son's name? It's Phelps. <laughs> Come over here and I'll tell you a story real quick. Lean yeah, in. Yeah. Lean in. You know how they change, uh, they turn your highway into a balloon animal dog? <laughs> well, he, he, he persevered. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Deb News. Yeah, the search continues for a missing college student in Nashville. Closer to home, Osceola County Police, Kissimmee Police uh, specifically, provide an update on the Madeline Soto case. And the Reddit IPO is valued at... We'll talk oh. about that and more coming up next during Woke News. Wow, that's going to be an interesting number. Yes, it is. And it's something I think, well. Wow, really? A let's, Reddit let's hope, IPO. Let's hope this is not one of those cases where you don't make a move. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll talk about that and more coming up next during Woke News. All right, you got it. 407-916-1041. You want to watch us live at YouTube, go there, jimcolbertlive.com. Click through, give us a subscribe and a like. We'd appreciate that very much. Back with more of Deb's News in just one second. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. Still seeing delays on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, both east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Delays continue northbound on the turnpike due to a crash that was reported between Colonial Drive and the Oakland Exchange exit. All northbound delays continue on Buena Ventura Boulevard due to a crash blocking all northbound lanes between Button Road Drive and Osceola Parkway. If you run into other traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Sam. Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Amtrak. Visit new and exciting places across the U.S. on Amtrak. It isn't just about the destination. It's about the journey. Without busy airports or cramped car rides. With no middle seats, extra legroom, and first-class private rooms. New adventures are just an Amtrak away. Book Tool- now at Amtrak.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills. Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, Napoleon, all of these. So amazing. They also have pizza oven- ovens from Uni and Gosney. Make sure everybody has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from our friends over at Hollywood. Indestructible. Will 
will not fade in this summer summer heat. Not to mention they have a service tech specializing in grills with any repair or warranty issues. And you can get free assembly or local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware, 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin as well. Or you can just shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to installbrickpaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now, 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 7337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's alsco.com. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. NFL Total Access, the podcast, is getting you ready for the NFL Draft. 
I'm your host, Andrew Levy, and I'll be delivering two shows a week to make sure you're caught up on the latest NFL news, every free agency move, and how it changes the draft needs of your NFL team. Draft experts, talent scouts, mock drafts, and shock drafts, too. NFL Total Access, the podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. For all your windows and doors, go to FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. You text us at 77031, and we say it on the air. Sometimes. We might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Colbert Show. Greetings, greetings. Blessed love to everyone. Deborah, there is no doubt that you're a beautiful person. Not just physically, because that goes without saying, because it's obvious. But just from listening to you over the years, Deborah, you are a beautiful person in spirit. You are a, have a warm, welcoming spirit. You know, you, you have a, a absolutely beautiful voice. And that smile, ah, trust me, just accept it, D. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Eloquently said. Well, when you put it like that. Eloquently said, much like this guy on the texting service. I'm 42 and I'd plow them all night. <laughs> Or you can say it like that. I'm, I'm so glad you're making for life. It was so sweet and nice and perfect because I just saw his name. I'm like, oh, I don't need to proofread that one. And I just played it. And I was like, that could have, you know, gone yeah, yeah. any, any, oh, any other, other way. way. That could have gone anywhere. All right. All right. Just uh, two segments down to let Deb know that she is beautiful. 4,200 to go. Oh. Oh. No. Tinted and unclean. Oh, Yay. All right, welcome back. I am Jim, Jack and Ross right over there. Let's get some news. Here's the very beautiful Deborah Roberts. Now it's time for Woke News. By the way, if you're wondering what she looks like, on the Jim Live. Show. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to watch us on YouTube, you have to give us a like and a subscribe. Let me hit this whiskey real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right, Woke News is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Hey, Saturday morning when you're out tooling around, listen, uh, give him a listen as he's host of the Home Loans Radio Show. All right, the search continues for missing University of Missouri student Riley Strain. We've been covering the story of the 22-year-old who vanished on March 8th after he was asked to leave uh, Luke Bryan's bar in downtown Nashville. Search and rescue crews are now focusing their efforts on the Cheatham Dam which is about 40 miles downstream from Music City. Jimmy, that was one of the first things you had talked about. Yeah, yeah. And then they were, you know that last text that he sent, uh, I know Sean and those guys were talking about it yesterday. It said, good lops. You know, that was the last thing he sent. And I was like, well, to me, that looks like, because uh, somebody asked him how he was doing. A friend asked, and he said, good lops. And nobody was like, everybody's trying to figure out what lops meant. And I said, I thought, I was like, well, it just sounds like somebody said good, but I'm lost. Oh, that, that's you know good, but lost. You know, lost. But you know him being drunk, not putting punctuation. Like that's what it was because he was walking away from the place he was staying. So, do you know what LOPS uh, actually stands for? No, I guess they said something about like a uh, low on battery or something like that. Low on power. Low on power. Yeah. So wow. I don't. I don't know if that's sorry. what he meant it's at that like time. Low on right. power. Sorry. Yeah. 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 That is, but he didn't respond. He yeah. just. Yeah. He just said good, and then low on power. Sorry. Mm. Or he said LOPS or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if he'd used that before. I just know that they had video of him passing by an officer, right. and when the officer asked how he was doing, he seemed normally said good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But, I mean, <laughs> again, I mean, they were talking about it yesterday, and there's so many drunk people in Nashville, which is true. It is perpetually hammered drunk. Oh, Very yeah. Drunk. So there are stumbling people around Nashville 24 hours a day. You talked about it, uh, especially oh, yeah. when they're on the e-scooters. Look, there's an entire, like, there are entire Instagram channels of people just falling flat on their face <laughs> on uh, on that, on whatever, what's that street? The Broadway. Broadway Street. Like, just falling down drunk. There's not entire not. channels dedicated to just people stumbling around Nashville. I'm not proud of it, but I definitely had a beer with a dog in Nashville. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> and I am actually super proud of it. It was awesome. You are not the only one. A Strain's bank card was found on the embankment near the Cumberland River. That happened last weekend. All right, 14 people stuck in Haiti are now safe here in Florida. State officials coordinated a rescue flight that landed last night at Orlando Sanford International Airport. Eight adults and six children were on board. 
Governor Ron DeSantis says this will be the first of probably many flights to bring people who are in harm's way out of Haiti. He says there are over 300 more Floridians still in Haiti awaiting rescue. The state is planning for more flights today. Emergency Management Director uh, Kevin Guthrie says it's a very dangerous situation and a very difficult process. Mm. There was also video yesterday of, uh, I believe it was two State Department helicopters that uh, helicoptered about 40 people out of Haiti. Yep. So they're getting them out any way, shape, and form that they can. Uh, detectives continue to investigate the disappearance and death of Madeline Soto. She was the 13-year-old girl who went missing about a month ago. The 37-year-old boyfriend of Soto's mother, Stefan Stearns, remains the main suspect after the girl was reported missing last month. Her body was found five days later in a wooded area in St. Cloud. Now, Stearns has not been charged in her disappearance or her murder. And if you notice, uh, a manner of death has not even been released yet. Has not. No. Um, But he is facing 60 other charges, including child sex crimes that do make him eligible for the death penalty. Stearns, who's been in jail since February 28th, has invoked his right to counsel and continues to not cooperate with the investigation. Not a word. Not at all. Nothing. Uh, Kissimmee Police Chief Betty Holland said uh, police have interviewed the teen's mother, Jennifer, and she has been cooperating with the investigation. Good. All right. The uh, touched on gambling a little bit earlier, and the Florida Supreme Court says no. They're not going to hear the challenge to the Seminole Gaming Compact. Really? The court ruled West Flagler Associates, which owns casinos around the state, does not have the authority to address the constitutionality of a law. The decision from the bench, refile the case in trial court. At issue, mobile sports betting, where participants can place wages with the Seminole Tribe through a cell phone app anywhere in Florida, not just on tribal land. Plaintiffs argue the governor and legislature exceeded their authority in enacting the compact. They did. That's, and That's we all know it. I know. But so here's cr- the deal. I like the app. I like using it, but there's... It's a joke. There's no competition. None. They are the not only- even allowed. It's not. It's not no. that people don't have the money to set up shop. They're yeah. not allowed to set up shop. I, how this is legal is just mind boggling. That's the thing. It's money. not the- because oh. the, because <laughs> voters decided. But I get. I know. I wonder if a constitutional lawyer could come in and make something on the grounds that this was something that voters had voted on and said that voters wanted the right to expand gambling in the state, whereas it looks like. But but here the Florida Supreme Court is like no we're not gonna. I hear Disney is all about not having oh, this overturned no. because they want they want to limit it to just oh sure yeah yeah oh, okay well, they don't open that. the floodgates so they don't want it opened where right. it would change their you know uh, business model oh that's a good point hadn't thought about that all right this was something we uh, touched on a little bit when we spoke to Orlando Sentinel columnist Scott Maxwell yesterday but I wanted to give you a little bit more details. Uh, about a Central Florida lawmaker who's accused of forging a signature on an application for a state license. No, this isn't the Regina Hill story. Another one. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're on a roll. (laughs) They're having kids. Yeah, the Orlando Sentinel reported yesterday on an application for a state license that was submitted three years ago by Central Christian University. This is off of North Hiawassee Road. District 45 Republican State Representative Carolina Amesty Uh, Her family runs the Orlando School that was first licensed by the state two years ago. Amnesty used to be vice president and actually made more money than her father, which was the school's founder and president. The application for the license included documents that listed five faculty members, including Robert Schaefer. But Schaefer tells the Sentinel he never worked there. The documents include one with Schaefer's signature, but he also tells the Sentinel he never signed that document. And he's willing to testify to that in court. Rutro. Three handwriting analysts agree the signature doesn't look like Schaefer's. It's, again, just like the Regina Hill case, it's so sloppy of a mistake that you're like, really, you thought that was going to pass as that man's signature? Uh, And two of them will tell the Sentinel it looks like Schaefer was written by Amnesty. She denies it, though. Right. And her attorney sent the Sentinel an affidavit swearing she saw Schaefer sign the document. For those who think notarizing something without actually witnessing is it's like, what, how much of a big deal is yeah, that? Yeah, really? no, it's a, it's it, a third degree felony yeah, punishable by up to five years in prison. So yeah, it, yeah. it is a big deal. So Jim, I don't know with your handwriting, which is deplorable. Yeah, no one. You. I appreciate that. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> well, should. That's the thing. 
I now understand why you do it. Yeah, yeah. No one's going to forge it. Right, exactly. They you can't. can't. You, you can't forge it. Yeah, what I'm signing, it looks like my name, but I'm actually, what, I, what I'm writing is plausible <laughs> deniability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my signature. But you just can't see. You can't see it. It just says plausible deniability. Okay, a couple of uh, things out of schools that I thought were pretty cool to bring to you. First... This is something we usually hear about that's very um, in and very hip with restaurants, but I think that this is even better when you can apply it to schools. Okay. Students getting lunch in Hillsboro sta- uh, school cafeterias today are being served a meal sourced entirely from Florida. Okay. Shaney Hall, Director of Nutrition Services, says the district has been working for years to supply more meals from closer to home because think about it, local food is usually faster. Right. It's also fresher. Right, right, right. Oh man, fresh vegetables from the fentanyl fields. <laughs> Today's meal includes chicken empanadas from Hialeah, right. Mexican street corn grown in Pahokee, All right. milk from Temple Terrace, and strawberries from Plant City. Very nice. It's the first time the school district has been able to source a full meal in state. That's kind of cool, actually. That's very cool. Think of how that helps Florida agriculture. Oh, yeah, man. It helps Florida students, especially those who may be from food insecure areas where they don't have that much access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. I just thought that Mexican street corn, though, was... Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, the University of South Florida is planning to launch a first-of-its-kind program in the state. USF says it wants to open the College of Artificial Intelligence and Cybersecurity to benefit undergraduate and graduate students. Okay. The school says the program, which still needs approval from the Board of Trustees, would bring together roughly 200 faculty members who are already researching AI, cybersecurity, computing, A task force has been forwarded to assemble a plan of action. USF is hoping to launch the college by the fall of 2025. What an emerging field for today's Zoomers and those even younger than those kids. Yep. Because that's really, that's the game changer there. All right, some police officers in Lake County will soon get a raise. Mount Dora leaders unanimously approved a 13% pay increase during Tuesday's city council meeting. The move is an attempt to improve recruitment and retention within the department at one time saying that uh, Mount Dora is down like 25% of its police officers. Oh, really? Yeah. So the wage hike will take effect starting April 8th. Hopefully they can get those numbers up. What happened to the city manager in in that case? I, I saw in the news that he was kind of put on the shelf, but it wasn't, it was kind of a temporary no, thing. They're I investigating. Thought, didn't I think they, they bounced his ass, didn't they? Well, <clears throat> he resigned, and but there's still some machinations, I believe, going on back, uh, back you know, behind oh. closed doors oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is i mean literally you guys about 35 percent of all city positions have been left open wow from everything from an interim police chief to 25 percent of the police force he was bad news for the city of mount door and we're happy to see patrick go Boom. but like not it. that i have any opinion about that. there you go i like that all right um this seems like really bad timing to me not what i just said but this next story <laughs> if you're going to the beach this weekend, wouldn't you expect to see spring break, rip currents, that kind of thing, more lifeguards? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no. You're going to notice fewer lifeguards Uh-oh. if you hit the beach in Brevard they County really, this weekend. They really hate those spring breakers. County Commissioner <laughs> John Tobia. We'll, we'll chase him away oh, yeah. somehow. Exactly, this, somehow. This will teach him. Six we'll feet under. We'll send them out to sea. Exactly. Right, yeah. we'll, send, <laughs> we'll, send back, we'll, we'll send them back to New York via current. Well, County Commissioner John Tobai announced yesterday that, yeah, three beaches in Cocoa Beach will no longer have extra seasonal lifeguards. He blames the city for pulling funding for the lifeguards. Wow. The affected beaches are Cocoa Beach Pier, Shepherd Park, and Tulip Ave, and the change takes effect, oh, Saturday. Wow, really? Yeah, like right in the height of spring break. (laughs) This has been an ongoing uh, battle between the county and the city, uh, and they want... The county wanted to split the cost, and the city's like, we don't have that in our budget to, to just add those lifeguards. So that they that, that's how they've been fighting over this. But I guess Saturday's the last day. Saturday's Look the out. last day for those particular beaches. And if Swim you remember, further north in Volusia County, you know, yeah. you had, uh, you know, the sheriff's office take over for county beach patrols. So yeah. now you have deputies patrolling the beach, which came in handy when they had to 
uh, wake that drunk couple from Georgia the other day eight times. Uh, <laughs> Tobias says Cocoa Beach is shirking its responsibility of public safety on its beaches for tourists and residents alike. Now, further north, like we were just talking about, residents in Volusia County should be aware of a scam going around. And shame on you if you fall for this. I'm kidding. But New Smyrna Beach police said yesterday people have been putting fake parking tickets on some cars. Now, they posted on Facebook an image of one of the tickets. It's going to be easy to see that it's a fake. It's handwritten on white-lined paper. Oh, God. (laughs) And contains an invalid phone number and a website that doesn't load. Police say they don't issue parking citations in the form of a handwritten note. And they're asking you call them immediately if you find one of these tickets on your car. That's the creepiest thing in the world. Isn't it? Uh, was there a you owe me like, 35. Was there a Venmo on no, it? Yeah, How are they going to collect on this? Just wad 35 up in this napkin and throw it in the trash can on the corner of Smith and Roberts. Well, while you're over there on the coast, it's a busy week for Florida Space Coast. SpaceX is planning for a potential launch double header with the first schedule to take place today at 4.55 p.m. from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The resupply mission is expected to deliver 8,200 pounds of cargo to astronauts on board the International Space Station. And then tomorrow night, a Falcon 9 rocket is expected to send another batch of Jimmy's favorite Starlink Internet satellites into low Earth orbit. However, you know, tomorrow is a is a weather alert day because we got a round of showers possibly some isolated thunderstorms, yeah. and that could impact liftoff, which is set for 7.55 p.m. from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Okay, um, <clears throat> I sent you that article, Jimmy, about ocean sea level temperatures. Yes. Right, and the concern about, oh, what the heck is going on? Well, El Nino is now weakening and is expected to become a La Nina this summer. Sexist. That's the word from NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. Director Ed Clark says La Niña's produce opposite weather patterns as El Nino's, which could mean higher than normal temperatures, just what we want to hear going into the summer in Florida, with above average precipitation. La Niña conditions were in place for a portion of the most active Atlantic hurricane season on record, and that was in 2020. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Last year's Atlantic hurricane season was unusually active in an El Nino year because of warm ocean temperatures. Yeah. All right. Speaking of warm ocean temperatures, a woman who inspired love songs by Eric Clapton and then husband George Harrison has put love letters from Clapton up for auction. Really? Patty Boyd was married to Harrison from 1966 to 1977. This this is one of the great rock and roll love triangles right here. It really is. And after you hear the the names of these songs, anyone who doesn't remember, go, go, you know, YouTube, give them a listen. Uh, She was the inspiration for the Beatles' Harrison penned song, Something. Uh, Clapton, who fervently tried to entice Boyd away from Harrison, wrote Layla, and wonderful tonight for her. In a New York Times interview, Boyd revealed the content of some of Clapton's love letters, including a 1971 letter that said, quote, if you don't want me, please break the spell that binds me, yep. end quote. The love letters are among 111 lots in the Patty Boyd collection that have been put up for auction on Christie's. The online auction ends early Friday. Boy, she had some magic, boy. She had two of the most powerful players in rock and roll after her in, uh, yeah. Who were, quote, friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 Best of friends, I thought. Yeah, exactly. Very good friends. By the way, that ties into our question of the day. It's on Real Radio's Instagram story and in the YouTube chat. Just, you know, log on. There you go. We'll check it out out later. Yeah, exactly. And then finally, Reddit is pricing its initial public offering. Ed, what do you think? Uh, Let's see. Who wants to go first? What Uh, do you think it's a share? Oh, Oh, it's per share? Per share. Per share. That's kind of weird because you don't know how many they're going to run. 20 bucks. All right. Jack? I wish I knew this was coming out today. I know. You and me both do. I I, would have. Do you think Reddit has so much value? I do. I do. And Especially I, with the younger generation? I probably would have invested in it. You still have time? Man, tech is so sketchy, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff, because you just never know when somebody's going to say something wrong or when, when Elon Musk is going to buy it, and then you watch your investment <laughs> go to crap. So, I mean, that's why it's just so bizarre. Okay, well, we've got $20 a share from Ross. What say you, Jack? Or Jimmy? Oh, you guys are staring each you other down. First. Okay, you Jimmy. You go first. You go first. You don't want me to go first. I want you to go first. I you do to... not. I'm telling you, uh, yeah. you don't wow. want me to go I'll first. I'll bet you go. this is the first time you guys have ever said that, go isn't first. it? I just want to say that the millennial already went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 30, $34. 
Oh, he already knows, in other words. Um, uh, you, I begged you to go first. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll go $34.50. You son of a bitch. You might be right. It might be 37 I, I have it at 34 yeah! <laughs> Now, the online forum sites offering uh, yesterday brought in about $519 million and values the company at nearly $6.5 billion. There you go. The company debuts on the market today under the ticker RDDT. Wow. So there wow, you have wow, it. Wow. Yeah, it's up. It's right. Last I checked, it was up like 35%. Is it really already? Yeah, yeah. 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 Damn. The, the telltale signs what it looks like in six months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, either way, now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Deb. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real radio. <laughs> It is. The monsters in the morning. But you got, but you got, you got like ugly little long toes with the nasty little, <laughs> they, nasty little They are beautiful toenails. feet, right? No, they're, they're not. Beautiful. The monsters in the morning. Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we are expecting mostly sunny skies over the course of today, although clouds will gradually begin to increase throughout this afternoon and into this evening. That will be out ahead of our next rainmaker set to arrive for our Friday. Before that, though, temperatures will be warming well into the upper 70s and low 80s. The forecast high of 81 degrees today in Orlando. Shower and storm chances will be on the increase for Friday into Saturday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. Nothing adds crunch to a salad quite like a fresh bell pepper. If the bell peppers you're buying don't sound like this, then they're not fresh from Florida. Florida bell peppers are grown right here in the Sunshine State by our hardworking local farmers. That means they're fresher, crisper, and have a way better. Bell peppers are in season now. So look for the Fresh from Florida logo or ask for it by name where you shop. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every... The Golden State Warriors are making the cross-country trip to face off your Orlando Magic on Wednesday, March 27th. It's the Warriors' only visit to Kia Center this season, so don't miss out. Get your tickets today at orlandomagic.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Regulate activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry 
They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. If you'd like to leave a talk back for us, you can do that. Just get the iHeartRadio app. It's free of charge and freaking awesome. You're going to be super happy when you download it. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone to send it on down the line. If you've got something to say to us, you can do it there for sure. If you'd like to call us, 407-916-1041. If you want to text us. It's 77031. If you want to see it, do it, see us do it live, Ooh. including Danny Myring will be in in just a few minutes. That's jimcolbertlive.com. Click through right to our YouTube channel. Give us a subscribe and like while you're there. That way you can watch us do the show and see all the guests. Colbert Court will be a little bit later. So we'll have uh, all kinds of cool stuff for you to watch. And then, by the way, you can go and watch all the show's replay on YouTube if you like. Once you're a member of the channel, you can use it to watch anything. Like if, if there's an animal house you missed or a guest you missed, you can go back in the archive and check it out. Even I forget that sometimes. That's right, yeah. And it's a really easy way to, like, scan back. If I have to go back and I'm like, oh, what was that segment? I'll just, oh, wait. I oh, can yeah, just, exactly. I can just click this slider and go. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Yeah. Uh, also, all the podcasts are there as well, plus the goods, which is all the collective, like, uh, little segments that we do, little little things like that. It's all right there, all the interviews. That's jimcobertlive.com. All right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. Uh, story out of West Palm Beach. You know, women in Florida kind of, they're having a year, guys. Really? Yeah, women in Florida the, are having the a West year. West Palm or Florida women? Uh, well, West Palm women are having a really good year. Okay. Um, but, you know, just yesterday or this past week, we had a couple in Georgia. Oh, yeah. Uh, come down here, fall asleep on the beach, and then let their five- and seven-year-old wander aimlessly throughout Volusia <laughs> County, winding up in a hotel uh, pool. Not even sure if it's their uh, hotel. Unsupervised. Yeah. I said yesterday, it's probably the safest place it could have been. That Florida <laughs> sun will get you. It will get you a little bit. <laughs> This is a little different. A mother in West Palm was arrested on Thursday um, because, well, let's just say her kid went to school with wow. something it shouldn't have gone to school with. A gun. A gun is the answer. Oh, wow. A okay. gun is the answer. Where do you think they found this gun, Jack? In the backpack. Not in the backpack, Jack. 
uh, like uh, like that Fisher Price. No. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Lunchbox. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fisher Price lunch, <laughs> lunchbox. That's Think ex- Florida. That's exactly where it was. It was in the lunchbox. Here's what happened, right? Did it mush a sandwich? I don't know oh. if it The thing is, is here's what I don't understand. Okay, this story is really weird, and I'll tell you why. So in West Palm, this woman was arrested on Thursday, uh, and they did her dirty, too. They said, you need to come down to the daycare. And, of course, if you're a mom, you're thinking, oh, I wonder what's wrong with my son. They walk in, and boom, they arrested her. Um, and the reason why is because she left her Glock 43. <laughs> In her son's, um, by the way, he's two. Oh, he's two years old. And what happened was this: she said that her home got broken into so often that she didn't want to leave her gun in the house to get it get it stolen. So she left it in the car, and she would usually leave it in the glove box. But instead, she didn't have her purse with her. She figured she'd put it in her son's lunchbox. Then she forgot it. And I was like, well, if the kid had lunch in the lunchbox, how did you put the lunch in the lunchbox without seeing a Glock 43? That's a good point. In the lunchbox. Because, I mean, like any size gun in a two-year-old lunchbox is going to seem a little cumbersome to a two-year-old. I mean, even a Glock, which is a composite gun, I believe, with a steel barrel. I believe that's the only thing that steals the mechanism. Everything else is a composite plastic, right? And uh, But, yeah, in there, in the in, right in the... Right in the lunchbox. I'm kind of on this woman's side. That gogurt isn't going to protect itself. <laughs> right, exactly right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it, it it is interesting. She's 39 years old. She told deputy, like she, like I said, she usually places her gun inside the glove box, but due to recent break-ins, she's been placing it inside her car. But it's weird because her glove box is in the car. Um, but she says the morning of the incident, she placed the gun inside her son's lunchbox because she didn't have a purse at hand and didn't want to have it out in the open. So apparently she rides around with this thing just straight up on the passenger seat. She no, forgot all about Jimmy. it and then was later found by the daycare teacher inside. Man, that would be crazy as a teacher to crack open a lunchbox and get a kid's Whoa. lunch ready for them <laughs> only to have a weapon. And here's the thing. I mean, you know the damn thing's loaded. It doesn't really say that it is. But, I mean, why would you have it if it's not loaded? Well, you know she doesn't keep it in the car. No. She keeps it in the car seat. Ross, well, what does a Glock 43 look like? I mean, look that up if you don't mind. All right. It's a Glock 43. Now, I know the Glock is just the name of the the brand of the maker. Uh, I don't know what caliber a 43 is um, because Glocks, they make nines. I think they make uh, 380s, which is just an automatic uh, 38. I don't think they make a – I don't know how many calibers they make. Yeah, so uh, the Glock 43 is a Glock single-stack 9-millimeter Luger caliber pistol. So it's a 9-millimeter. There you go. It's nice. It's also, it's got that short barrel, like probably a four-inch barrel. Yeah. Jer- is it a compact jack? that yes. has yes. Yes. Okay, so yeah. it is a compact. It is yeah. ultra concealable. There yeah. you go. Yeah. I'm showing it, it on the, the YouTube. Box. It's on the YouTube feed. <laughs> on right. the YouTube feed right there. There you go. And the, here's the thing. That gun looks like a normal size 9 millimeter, but now, they now make guns that are pretty small. So if I were to hold that in my hands, my pinky wouldn't even touch the gun. It would just be my two fingers and then the trigger finger. I wouldn't mind Because that. they're very small. That's you a lo- should lose it. That's a big ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when you get by, when the, you do stupid stuff like this, okay, you, you're six right. Months, you should. You lost your. You, at least there's a time. That's, you, that's a minimum. It yeah. should be more like a year. Dude, I would make it indefinite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Especially I, with a two year old. Because that's the thing. At least in my opinion, it takes one bad day for me to consider you an irresponsible gun owner. Yeah, yeah. It takes one because that's a one strike policy. You have too many incidents. You have too many events to go ahead and have literally. One bad day and, when it comes to being a gun owner in my eyes. And look, man, let me tell you something. I mean, it's not like we don't hear stories about kids finding guns. There was a story just, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago about a kid finding a gun and shooting his little brother with it, you know, because people don't conceal their weapons or don't safe their weapons like they're supposed to. They leave them out and around or, you know, kids are very curious. I remember finding my dad's gun. When I was a kid, I knew exactly where it was. So I knew where both of them were. So are you trying to tell me, Jack, that by law, I mean, she won't lose her right? She won't be a felon after this? Oh, I, oh well, well, yeah, yeah. She's that facing. Would be. She's, that, right? If you're a felon, you can't, you lose your right to bear arms. Is I don't that know correct? If she'd face Is that a thing? I don't know if she's facing felony charges. She's uh, now being charged with allowing a minor to obtain a firearm and another charge of child neglect. One of those definitely has to be a felony of some sort. I don't think there's a misdemeanor child neglect. Yeah. 
I don't think it works like that. So there's definitely got to be at least some kind of felony. That would that would basically end her ability to have one at all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I would say forever. Taking care of itself there, yeah, maybe? Six yeah. months or a year. I'm like, what? <laughs> you guys want to give it a go a year from uh, now? Man, look, man, she could have been hammered, you know, so. <laughs> just joking. All right, 407-916-1041. <laughs> Text us, 77031. Danny Myring up next for Date Night Done Right. We'll do that right after this. Orlando City returns to Inter Co Stadium to host Austin FC this Saturday. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Still seeing slowdowns on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound in the Orlando area, especially by the major attractions exits. Looking at a crash southbound on the turnpike causing heavy stop-and-go traffic that has the left lane blocked between Osceola Parkway and 192 down in Kissimmee. Buenaventura Boulevard is still shut down northbound at Osceola Parkway. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Man, it's no secret here in Central Florida. We go through some weather anomalies. 71 day, 85, 88 the next day, 88 one day, 65 the next day. Is your system ready for those kind of swings? And more importantly, is it ready for what we know is already going to be a hot, humid summer? If not, get with my friends over at Mills Air. Get that preventive maintenance plan to make sure your AC is going to make it all summer long, guys. This is an absolute must if you live in Florida. And if you must do it, you must do it with the best people out there. That's Mills there. They've been doing it since 92. 30 plus years of experience here in Central Florida keeping you nice and cool. Their techs are awesome people. They know these brands inside and out. You don't even have to know what kind of AC you have. They can fix it. Not to mention these guys are carrier factory authorized dealers and that means a lot. Maybe up to $1,275 in rebates towards your brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and certainly turn to family owned and operated Mills Air. Call today. Schedule that appointment for your preventive maintenance plan. It's 407-277-1159. Make it online at millsair.com. When couples come into International Diamond Center looking for engagement rings, they have lots of pictures from websites, from Pinterest, from designers they love, and 99% of the time, we have what they want. The brands that we carry are the brands the consumer asks for, the, the girls ask for, your future bride asks for. IDC owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC is always on the cutting edge because we partner with the world's leading designers, names like Takori, Viraggio, Henry Dossi, and dozens more. Fashions come and go, but why do some brands stay forever. It's because they stay relevant. IDC was chosen by these acclaimed designers, in most cases, as the exclusive retail partner in the region. We try to provide the best of the best at the most current merchandise in the market today. International Diamond Center, giving you access to the most sought-after brands in the world with a five-star shopping experience with no compromises. We want people to feel comfortable, relax, educate them, give them high quality for the right price. Store hours and more at shopidc.com. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring, a game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzite.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzite tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. 
If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-cancelling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel, and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to Wasi'sMeatMarket.com for your big green egg today. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 office orlando this earful of real radio is brought to you by just call mo.com injured on the go just call mo.com broadcasting live from the injury law firm of kaufman and lind studios why kaufman and lind find out at when you need us.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone this is wtks fm hd1 coco beach orlando listen on your free iheart radio app for all your music radio Podcasts. You probably don't know this or care, but we have web goals. So go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407 916 1041. Text us easily at 77031. Check us out on YouTube. We got a guest in, so now would be a great time to do that. JimcolbertLive.com. Click right through while you're there. Give us a subscribe and like. It helps us out quite a bit. It doesn't cost you a nickel. Again, that's JimcolbertLive.com. That way you can watch us do our thing live. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is. Hi. And so is Ross. Make me a better husband. Let's do date night done right. Whether you're dating and in love or married and in a fight, keep your romance shining bright. This is date night done right. Good and loud for our friend Danny Myring. Yay! Uh, Here from OrlandoDateNightGuy.com. Danny, how you doing? I am wonderful. Happy spring officially. Uh, You look glowing today. You get to go to a nice uh, event tonight. With uh, We're doing a family date night, we call it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the boys come in, the husbands come in. We're all going to be there. It's uh, the Good Poor in uh, Longwood. It's Their their grand opening is happening this weekend. What is that? Is it a bar, a beer house? Uh, uh, What is it? It, uh, So it's Fine Wine and Spirit. So it's actually a store. But okay. then um, the majority of their profits, or I shouldn't say the majority, um, their profits go towards various charities. And uh, so this is their first store in Orlando. They're working on a flagship store in College Park. Um, both spaces look beautiful. It's going to be a really cool place to, like, browse and get gifts. They're going to have, like, an engraving station to engrave That's bottles. That's cool. So yeah, a lot of it's it's different than just going to like your corner liquor store. <laughs> yeah, very nice. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Danny appears courtesy of OrlandoDateNightGuide.com. Remember, if you miss anything that Danny features today for dating this weekend, you can go to JimCoberLive.com and check it out on the goods. What do you got yeah. for us this week? So there's a lot of cool stuff happening this weekend. Um, some of them are happening at some of the luxury hotels around uh, town. I, I like that. <laughs> um, and some of those experiences can get a little pricey. So we'll get into that in just a moment. But um, a couple of of things that have opened at some of the hotels around town is um, the Stadium Club at Caribe Royale. I don't know if you've heard about this have one. Not. 
This one's really, really cool. We went a couple of weeks ago, and I just haven't had a chance to bring it up. Um, the Stadium Club is, it's not like just a sports bar. Like, they have bays that you can, almost like everyone okay. compares it to Top Golf. All right. But they have these simulators where you can do baseball and hockey and soccer. And Ooh. you have, you know, your server comes and brings you your gourmet chicken wings and gourmet burger and really? pizza and craft cocktails really? and all kinds of good stuff. So um, this is a really cool place that when it starts getting hot in the summer and you're like, I can't, I can't do outside. Anymore, sure. Yeah. Then uh, this is a good place to check out. They validate your parking. It's pretty easy to get in and out of the the, the resort there. It's Caribe Royale and the place is called the Stadium Club. Brand new spot, cool, huh? Yeah. It's a cool date night spot. It's a cool spot for birthdays. Now, now how many bays do they have? Do they, are they mm. able to, I mean, okay. Uh, I want to say like mm, I'm gonna go with ten. Oh, okay, that's still yeah. that's still plenty. Yeah, yeah. We can do prices right. Maybe it's eleven. Very maybe nice. It's nine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Uh, but then on something a little bit more upscale uh, that we just went to recently is a loom at JW Marriott Bonnet Creek. Okay, love that place. I've been before, and um, this is a great time to go because you've got sunset happening at a nice time. And you've got fireworks at Disney happening at a nice time, and you can see them from this rooftop bar. So uh, that place is called Illum. I got to bring my parents, and uh, we, my husband and I had some sushi, and so that is marvelous. Is that what it is? It's a sushi spot? It's sushi and Asian, and uh, they have, like, shareable plates and then entrees oh, that's cool. and stuff. Really good craft cocktails. <laughs> I had a, a cocktail uh, out of the shape of a bird, so okay, I'm drinking nice. out of the back end of a of a bird. Okay, that's just <laughs> yeah. $20 to drink out of the wow. back end of a bird. Yeah, I'm going to need a vaccine for that. I'm going to get heads up. <laughs> and this is at Bonnet Creek at a place called Alum? Yeah. How do, so you, the, how, how do you spell that? Uh, I-L-L-U-M-E. There you go. <laughs> Illum, as in illuminate. Yeah, Didn't illume. know I was coming on Spelling Bee today <laughs> yeah. in the Jim well, Culver show. Yes, I want people to be able to find it, that's all. Yes. Uh, I'm super curious. <laughs> how's the lighting? Uh, I, I, I'm not trying to make a joke. I'm not. Just, if you name your place a loom, I'm walking in expecting some real, like, fancy, <laughs> that's, rare that's a lighting. Point. Not right. a bad point. Anyway. Uh, yeah, they, they've got huge panoramic windows so that you can see the sunset and the fireworks and all that. That, that good sounds stuff. nice. And uh, yeah, they've got like a bar in the middle. Craft cocktails, all that jazz. Food was good? And then, yeah. And then they got nice. the sushi bar. And, um, yeah, so it, it's been open for a while. I want to say, I don't know, year or two-ish, maybe nice. longer. Okay. I'm losing track of time. Uh, so, yeah, definitely good stuff. Now, a different uh, area is uh, the Ritz-Carlton Grand Lakes and okay. the JW Marriott Grand Lakes. Yes. Yes. And one of my, uh, my favorite luxury spots to talk about. They are doing a wine dinner tomorrow night mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. with Chef Melissa Kelly, who's a two-time James Beard Award-winning chef. Um, so these tickets are $175 per person. Which, of course, is pricey, but you're getting multiple courses. You're getting wine can with I, each of those courses. Can I tell you, that sounds cheap, actually. At, at, for, for out there where that is, $175, I fully expect you to say $250. All right. So, so $175 is manageable. Most dinners with pairings are about that, and they've been that way for a while. You, now they're anywhere from you know, $230 to you know, 300 bucks now, yeah. depending on what wine you're getting and stuff. So that's actually game. not a bad deal at all. And that's not the one time, but the two times. That's the two times. <laughs> that's the two time two champion. Time. Yes, you gotta. You know, when you get to that level, like you get a, it's almost like a doctor yeah, yeah. notation after Dose at the beards. end of the new name. Yeah, <laughs> dose beards. Uh, if you're more into the drinking than perhaps the dinner, then I'm also listening. at uh, <laughs> at JW Marriott Grand Lakes on Sunday, they are doing National Cocktail Day Mixology class. That's nice. And so you do have to be 21 or older to participate because you're going to get to drink what you make, of course. Uh, so that includes a garden tour, two signature cocktails. You're going to do the class on the mixology, reception style appetizers on the Primo Terrace. Now, this is a very lovely area. So this is happening Sunday at 5 o'clock and um, tickets are $125. The Primo Terrace is really, really lovely. They have like fire pits and it overlooks the resort. So definitely a romantic evening that's happening Sunday. Yeah, now, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So now that we've gotten all the pricey stuff taken care of, let's talk about some of the free stuff. All right. uh, happening tomorrow night is uh, the Morse Museum is opening up again for free with free live music. So this is 5 to 8 p.m. tomorrow evening, uh, the Morse Museum on Park Avenue. Um, very, very wonderful event this time of year. And then on Saturday is the 
30th anniversary of the Taste of Oviedo. That's right. Sure is. <laughs> right there in the mall parking lot. Yep. <laughs> so uh, Oviedo has some some pretty darn good places. Uh, the ambulance. Let me try that again. Ambience of the mall parking lot, not so much, but it's a free event to uh, to kind of walk around. That's happening on Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they're going to have uh, family-friendly activities. So if you need to yeah, get yeah. the kids out and get some energy, because it's been spring break this week. Yeah, sure. They have a brewery right there as well where you can go and hang out at the brewery if you want. We go almost every year and walk around for a few minutes because mm. you just want to support people in Oviedo. We live near there. so It might be the only real estate in Oviedo, that the mall parking lot, that is doesn't have have a strip mall or apartment complex. Amen. Yeah. Oh, that place has been developed oh, to the hilt. Let me tell you something. And the traffic is now catching up. And the people in Oviedo have been there for years are so happy. And you can really see it in their faces when you're in traffic. Yeah. They're so happy everyone oh, found their little farm town. They are so thrilled. <laughs> so thrilled. Uh, yeah, so it's been spring break. The kids have been home if you haven't uh, footed the, the mortgage payment for spring break camp this week. So... Definitely uh, consider getting them out of the house. Uh, also, a great Seminole County event that's happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Uptown Art Expo Celebration of Art and Music. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's I don't, a lot. I don't know if someone like double an, check that name. <laughs> is this but... an Altamont Uptown or or Uptown Altamont? Yeah, yeah at yeah, the right. uh, the Cranes Roost area. So this is going to be a free uh, festival with a hundred and forty art and fine that's cool. craft. Artists. You know, they, they do a good job around there. You know, we kind of rag on them because that um, the mall is the mall. I mean, they can't do anything about it. And then they have that car, that, that electric car that runs by itself the around the mall rides. where you just basically drive around the mall that isn't even makes half of it's not even open. Right. Uh, but that area down by where the lake is and the walk around and that lakefront area, we've done a number of events as iHeart down there, and it works out really well. Tons of parking, easy to get in there. Mm -hmm. um, and the vendors, it's around a lake, so it's beautiful. There are a lot of areas where you can take photographs, you know, very yeah. picturesque area. So I love that spot. Yeah, and it'll be lovely for a stroll. You know, the weather's yeah, sure. hopefully going to behave and be nice. So, yeah, go check that out. Another outdoor event that's happening on Saturday in Sanford is the 12th annual Pints and Paws Craft Beer Festival. So this is taking place primarily at the West End Trading Company, mm -hmm. uh, but then they're going to have outdoor spots. Tickets start at $50 there, but this is a fundraiser. There's going to be 100 breweries, food trucks, vendors, live entertainment. It's definitely going to be a good time um, as well. So uh, finally, this is like the Seminole County hour, I guess. All Sorry. Right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the Good Pour is opening up um, t starting tomorrow are the festivities. So it's Friday and Saturday. This is on 434 in Lake Brantley. So you've got like the little Wakaiva Brewery there. Yep. You've got Wakaiva Island. Um, so it's a great time to be in that area. And then uh, Torchy's Tacos. Torchy's Tacos. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They opened up there not too long ago. And I, I believe I, I received word they're going to be expanding. So go check that whole yeah, man. area out this weekend. It'll a lot of Seminole County time. action. I like that. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm born and bred in Seminole <laughs> County. I try to spread the love. Yeah, but, yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah. Uh, so it, we, every week when you do influencer stuff, which is basically what this is, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, how often do you get invited to those things? Is it, is, do you have to pick and choose which ones you can make because of you get invited to so many of these things? You know, I was just having that thought like, okay, honestly, how am I going to do it all? And thankfully, I have, you know, a bunch of great friends, a bunch of great contributors. Uh, we have a, a, a staff writer. So sometimes, you know, I try to see who can go and who can cover. And then sometimes, you know, unfortunately, we're just, we have to decline and, and not check it out. Yeah. There's just only so much time in, in the day. Uh, the husband and son are coming along this evening with me so that we can have some time together Look, I besides think that's, doing the work. That's so. great. And if you think about yeah. it, you, you were with an influencer and you constantly had options to go out <laughs> and, uh, you know, and get to go to the newest, coolest places in Orlando. I think that'd be kind of cool. Danny, is your husband working these gigs or is he just a plus one looking for free drinks? Uh, he's, yeah, the latter. <laughs> the latter. Come on, he's the editor, buddy. <laughs> I respect that. He deserves that drink. I respect it so much. <laughs> he he does that. get to, you know, he he, the the poor guy knows that like the camera eats before he does. So unfortunately, you know, he'll yep. sit there and he'll just wait with his hands in his lap so I can get <laughs> pictures and video. Cam and, camera but, eats first. Yeah. yeah. He's wrangling the boy, you know, to, to make sure the boy doesn't get in the video shots and stuff, you know. Oh, my God. I let my kid run crazy and just smash his face and everything. And I, I just filmed that. That'd be, that would be my entire experience. Well, if I ever want to have the invite slow down, yeah, right, I'll just, just let the boy yeah, run yeah, rampant. That's right. And yeah, then yeah. Just bring don't him in invite a, Danny Myring any longer. Just bring him in a diaper and just cowboy boots. 
<laughs> Nothing oh, else. There we go. And just let him run rampant through all of your events. That'll end all that schedule. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Training him for Florida man. (laughs) Exactly right. (laughs) Uh, Well, Danny, thank you as always. We appreciate that. If you missed any of this, OrlandoDateNightGuide.com. Of course, JimCorbettLive.com. It'll be on the goods. Everything that she kind of recommends is right there every single week. And if you missed any of this, you can get that. If you want more, again, OrlandoDateNightGuide.com. If you don't mind, good and loud. From Miss Danny Meyer. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Thanks, Danny. Thank you. See you next week for sure. All right. All right. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Date Night Done Right is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Mortgage brokers are better. Why? They do all of their loans through national wholesale lenders. It'll still be your standard FHA, VA, or conventional loan, but they have access to dozens of wholesale banks competing for your business. And government studies prove buyers save $9,400 on average with a mortgage broker. That Mortgage Guy Don will give you a comparison quote today. Just go to thatmortgageguydon.com. It's peace of mind at your fingertips. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at that mortgageguidon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgageguidon.com. Traffic remains slow on I-4 in the usual spots by the major attractions exits. Heavy delays continue due to an earlier crash that was southbound on the turnpike between Osceola Parkway and 192. Looking at a crash walking two lanes eastbound on 434 this afternoon at I-4. If you happen to see any other traffic problems in the Orlando area, make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at the Filatoski Eye Institute. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they're going to tell you it is the best thing they ever did. And if they add anything to that... The only thing they're going to say is they should have done it way before they they actually did it. This is exactly what my father-in-law said to me. 58 years old, got his eyes taken care of with LASIK surgery from the Filatoski Eye Institute. Two days after that, he called me and said, man, why did I wait so long? This is a game changer. What are you waiting for? If you've dealt with eye issues, bad eyesight for years, there is an option. It's the Filatoski Eye Institute. And even better, right now, they're offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatoski Eye Institute. These guys have all the experience you want. 65 thousand LASIK procedures. They got it down. Not to mention, they use the latest state-of-the-art technology. And if finances is a worry, do not let that stop you. 24-month interest-free financing is available. Again, simply text 1041 to 868686 and schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatoski Eye Institute. Your path to better vision begins right now. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer. TK Law. One firm for life. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like... One day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles, too, with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, Yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. 
That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Radio 104.1, 407 916 1041. Text us easily at 77031. Check us out on YouTube, jimcolbertlive.com. Click right through while you're there watching the show. We'll have Glenn Clausman here in just a few minutes for Colbert Court. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe. That, that, was, that would be grateful. We would be grateful, and it helps us out quite a bit. Please. You know what to say that. <laughs> All right. I am Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. Um, Ross, I think you are you may be the only one in the room that doesn't know who this actor is. Are you familiar with who M. Emmett Walsh is? No, I am not. What? Who's yeah, that? M. Emmett Walsh. Um, he was in a movie, Blood Simple. He was in Blade Runner, but he was also in... What was the movie where he was trying to get? He was trying to uh, serve somebody a um, a subpoena, and they kept running from him, and because they thought that they were coming after him for something else. What's his name again? M. Emmett Walsh. M. Period. Emmett. E. M. M. E. T. Walsh. When you see him, you're like, oh, that guy. You've you'll, you've seen him in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you will e immediately know who this guy is. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I guess at one point, Roger Ebert, who... Do, are you familiar with Roger Ebert, Ross? Uh, yeah, Ross? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the big movie uh, the movie critic for years. It yeah, was... Um, uh, lip problem, right? Right. Uh, yeah, he had cancer in his jaw, I believe. Oh, God, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, I wound up losing his life over it. But oh, uh, Gene, Jesus. It was uh, Siskel and Ebert, and for years, if you were an American, up until probably the, what, mid-90s, Jack, they were the... 
they were the first that and last it. word yeah. in movie reviews. Yeah, if two they, thumbs up, and you knew that that was a movie to go see. That's right. And even a split thumb, depending yeah. on which thumb the split was with. On, on which guy you liked more. There were two, so two uh, Chicago reviewers uh, right. for competing newspapers. But then they did this TV thing, and it was it was magical because wildly popular. They had a very contentious relationship, and they would call each other out snarky. all the time. Yeah, very yeah, yeah. snarky. They would get in these little bitchy, like little bitchy uh, intellectual arguments while doing the show. Yeah, they they were like the old man Muppets of cinema. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And one of them is the one who encouraged Oprah. To get her syndication deal. Right, right, right. She had uh, yeah. Siskel and Ebert. I think it was right. Ebert that she... I think it was Roger Ebert who did it, yeah. she dated for a little while. Something like that. And yeah. during that dating period, he's the one who's like, you know, if you really want to make a name and some money, you need to get syndicated. And that's right. That's what created the Oprah empire. Considered one of the best business deals of all time, by the way, Oprah's, when she made that deal oh, with... Yeah. Uh, what, 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 not seeing it. WGN. WGN, yeah. 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 The big well, O. Roger Ebert once said that no movie featuring either Harry Dean Stanton or M. Emmett Walsh could be all that bad. So, in other words, they were so good on camera that anything they did was pretty darn good. Uh, it was the movie The Jerk, by the way. Yes. If you remember The Jerk, he was going to get served uh, a, a subpoena for being sued for this eyeglass thing that he built. And, uh, and, and I guess Steve Martin thought he was a hitman. So he kept running in from him, and uh, that was one of the last roles I remember him. He was also in Fletch, uh, two unbelievably good comedies. If you haven't seen Fletch, an old Chevy Chase movie, one of the best one-liner movies of all time. And Raising Arizona. Raising Arizona. And right. Knives Out. I didn't realize he was involved in Knives Out. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see that? I Knives did. Out? Yeah, Knives yeah. Out was great. I yeah. thought it was good. Yeah, yeah. I like both of them. James Bond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, Daniel Craig. He was great, man. Did you see the second one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We I thought like the very, Glass Onion. Here's the thing, dude. Very entertaining. And any more with a movie, if it's not like a serious movie dealing with a serious, you know, subject matter, I just want the damn thing to be entertaining. Yeah. I don't even care about, like, most of the other stuff. Even with all the CGI, just make the damn thing entertaining. That's it. That's the number one goal of movies and That's all right. of entertainment. Well, he was uh, he was born on Lake uh, Champlain in Vermont, just a few miles from the Canadian border, uh, and he basically just was uh, just one of these actors, a character actor that found himself into a crease in Hollywood and just kept winding up in very very cool movies as a guy that doesn't look very Hollywood. To and be honest with you, died two days ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple days ago, eighty eight years old. Yeah. And I always used to get him mixed up with Jack. We were talking about this before the show. I would always get him mixed up with the guy that was in Deliverance. Ned Beatty. Ned Beatty. I would always get those two mixed up. And uh, But, yeah, M. Emmett Walsh passed. I, I I think, if I'm reading this correctly, over 200 movies? Yeah, something like that. But he did a lot of films. He was one of those guys, again, that just like every time you would see him on the film, like, oh, there's M. Emmett Walsh again. Yeah. And he would always make it good. It was always very entertaining. One upcoming and 233 under his belt. Yeah, yeah. He was in one of the greatest movies to ever grace the silver screen. Which wild, is? Wild Wild West. Oh, the, oh, yeah, with Will Smith. Wicked Wild Wild. Wicked Wild 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 he, West. I mean, screens used to be silver. Jim West, Desperado. I think they just, didn't they call that that because the way they had to treat the... Because mirrors have a silver treatment, right? Right. So is it, it the uh, reflective quality? Where, where the original screens have something in silver in them? To I think the silver was such a neutral color where it wouldn't affect any colors as the movie was projected. That's what I remember hearing. Whereas, ah. whereas white would wash out lighter colors, silver when it would hit would be such a neutral color when it would when it would when you would project onto it, it would not it would. It would keep the image as pure as possible. That's what I heard. See, 25 years ago in radio, this is what we would do without looking it up just to get the answer. And <laughs> You're right. That's, exactly, it to you. that's well, exactly what would happen. We term, try and figure stuff out like this. The term silver screen comes from the actual silver or similarly reflective aluminum content embedded in the material that made up the screen's highly reflective surface. There you go. So there it is. Exactly right. You see, the reflective nature of it was important. I had, I had no idea. I thought it was just because it was a neutral kind of uh, thing, and when you project it onto it, it would not. Because here's the thing: my um, I used to, <laughs> I, I was going to do a top about this. In your home, t in, in my hometown, some buildings that used to be stuff when I was a kid are, are different stuff now, yeah, right? Yeah. And one of the most unique ones is is what used to be our our main drive-in theater in Palatka mm -hmm. is now a graveyard, 
and it is oh. now actually where my mother is buried. So my mother is buried in what used to be a drive-in theater. So, like, your mom is currently laying down right next to where, like, a bunch of popcorn tricks happen. Oh, uh, yeah, a bunch of popcorn <laughs> tricks. Like, we, I got a whole joke about this. Matter of fact, the projection room and the um, and the con- uh, uh, the concession stand are now where they store the tools to take care of the graveyard. And are the are the headstones hanging on the speaker posts? <laughs> That's a natural question to ask. Is the screen still up? <laughs> Jack, my past mother's in that ground. It's hallowed. <laughs> uh, but yes, the answer is yes. Uh, they just carve it right on the side of the pole. Here lies. You got to walk around it to get the entire thing. Takes a minute. You get dizzy. A memorial right. service is hard to hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, only yeah, one yeah. speaker works. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do I, it. I, I told my cousin Rusty, who always has a, has a dark sense of humor like I do, when we were pulling in. Uh, to the graveyard, he goes, he looks at me and he goes, you know, and I said, shut your mouth. <laughs> I said, shut your mouth. He was about to tell me where he made out. He goes, I just made out there where Mrs. Brown is dead. You don't know what happened on, Miss, on Mr. Smith's grave. And now it's all about THX or Dolby sound and the sound that you get booming in the movie theater. You could not get worse sound <laughs> than at a drive-in, but the novelty of it, whether it was a speaker that hung on or you had to tune into a low FM frequency right, or right, right. frequency in yeah. the car. Yeah. And then fight the mosquitoes, because you know what you didn't want to have? <laughs> yeah. You didn't want to have your car running when it's burning leaded gas in the 70s mm. and filling the cab up with death. It was basically a torture chamber. So better yet, light a mosquito coil <laughs> exactly. and put it on the front, front dash and just try not to breathe the fumes. How, how are those things not responsible for something? Oh, they are, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we just haven't we just found haven't, it yet. Exactly. But man, back in the day, I always I'm like, this can't be good, right? This kills stuff. Like, we're breathing <laughs> something that kills stuff. Yeah, I, it's weird. There's a new notion. I've heard I've heard it a, a fair amount of times that people are, like, really dunking on, like, scented candles. And I get it. And the whole argument, you burn it, we're breathing it. But, like... It's just really hard for me to take it seriously when someone's pissed off at like a lavender mist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think that somebody on the station, I can't remember, um, burned so many candles in their house that they had to have their ducts cleaned. And the person cleaning their ducts said something about it being dangerous to burn that many candles in your house for that long because the soot buildup from the candles going into your, you know, into your returns from your AC creates a crust on the inside that could catch on fire or something. Oh, okay. All right, that's news to me. That's I burn one candle. You have a lot of candles in your house? No, but the candle lobby is probably calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I think we're losing advertising. I love candles. They're just so damn expensive these days. What wow. happened to candles? What, weren't they $5 a piece now? Do you know how much a Yankee candle is, like a small one? Uh-huh. It's like $21. Yeah, that's because you don't get your scented candles at all, do you? Oh, God, because they don't last long. Because they don't oh, scent they anything. Last, oh, oh they do? They you don't. guys don't even know you're speaking out your arse. <laughs> You he's, don't even know. He's got a point. He you know, no, I do know. know. The reason I tell you I'll buy the good ones is because the other ones suck. You, you'll spend a dollar on the candle Jack's talking about. It'll last an hour. No. And you'll buy one of these ones from Yankee Candle. You, and sorry. it'll give you perfect you, aroma for weeks. White you, Barn Bath and Body Works. That's a good one. <sighs> You've never bought an Aldi scented candle, and they're about five bucks. Yeah. But it'll last. Not but good. Until but until you try it, but Jack, you the, can't knock it without the, trying the it. The aromas are not genuine. They're you not authentic. You don't even know. <laughs> Judging something without trying gave this man a career. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. Listen to the noob. All right. I, I did. Sure words were not spoken. I, this is so great because this started off with him bitching about candles being $22. And by the end of it, he's on that side. All right. For a second. 96 1041. How dare you point out my hypocrisy, sir? Check the tape. Bye. Get out of here. Colbert Court next. Real radio is the news junkie. They are trying to get rid of hotel bathtubs, and I just can't <laughs> stand for I, it. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm glad I didn't take your side. See, Lane, you've used a hotel bathtub before. I've seen it. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the news junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. For today, we'll expect a mostly sunny sky and warm temperatures. We'll expect highs to climb into the upper 70s and low 80s with a high of 81 degrees for Orlando. Clouds will increase late this afternoon and into this evening. That will be out ahead of our next round of some showers set to arrive for our Friday, which is a weather impact day due to the potential of some isolated heavier downpours. We'll expect some shower and thunderstorm action as well into our Saturday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica 
Dobson. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Texting rolls you in a recurring automated marketing. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, three hundred dollars. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Texting enrolls you in a recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenix Total T. I've heard about Nugenix. That really works? Since I started taking Nugenix, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text KING to 42 424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC at Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenix Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text KING to 42424. That's KING to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navaj helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navaj gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial 
heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Woo! Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mac credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 <laughs> Want more from us? At the Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. If you'd like to leave a talk back, you can do that. Just get the iHeartRadio app on your phone. It's free, and it's awesome. They do not bother you. There's nothing like that. When you get that, go to Real Radio. Use the little microphone to record something and send it on down the line. Doesn't cost you a nickel. We'd love to hear from you. That's right. Also, you can see us do Cobra Court Live, jimcobertlive.com. Go to our YouTube channel while you're there watching. Give us a subscribe and like. We appreciate that very much on behalf of the show. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. Yep. And Ross as well. Hey, y'all. Let's do Colbert Court. What you are listening to is real. Well, sort of. The participants are not actors. That's a fact. This is, however, a real case that will be decided here in our forum. The Colbert Court. Good and loud for our friend, Mr. Glenn Klausman. Yeah. That's Clausman Law, K L A U S M A N Law.com. Office is right there in Winter Park, 407 917 1718. Car crash. Call Glenn Clausman for your help, specializing specifically in auto insurance cases and has been doing it for many years. How many years? Uh, 35, 40 years there? Long time. Yeah. yeah. Long time. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> stop it with the numbers. Stop it with the numbers. Since the 80s, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah. How's your week? I see that you uh, made it over to St. Pete on our behalf. Another another trip to Mazzaro's. Yep. Yep. It's always fun. Do you know that we every time that you go over and you bring us something and we mention it on the air, we must get four or five or ten people yeah. who ask us about this magical place that you found over it, in St. It's, Pete? It starts being a problem when all these folks start coming over there and I've got to wait in line longer. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a big oh. problem. Oh. But when you go over and you go to that deli, and I tell people, if you want to have a great experience of getting a sandwich like like you would have in a big city, mm-hmm. go to Mazzaro's over in St. Pete and just go to that deli and order a sandwich and watch watch the mayhem begin. And it, there, everything there is great. Everything is good. To Glenn's point, it's like when we find a place we like, we like to share it, you know, on air. When we find the place of love that we love, we like yeah. to keep it a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, have, you, have Jack? Have you been over to Masaros? I have not. Oh, you got to get over there, man. Yeah, man. And be, here's the thing: you got to make your plans and make sure you call or find out the hours because you know you just want to make sure you go when it's open. You don't want to drive over and then kind of slide up there and not have time to walk around. Give yourself an hour or so just to peruse the store, the cheese area, the olive bar, into the deli, into the sweets area. There's so many cool stuff, so much cool stuff to see. I'll try and time it with a Yankees Rays baseball game. There this, you go. Uh, baseball you season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, it's so good. Anyway, uh, Glenn comes to us uh, for Cobra Court, usually brings a case with us that he's either arguing or has argued or maybe another lawyer is arguing it. They always kind of offer some questions, and we like to kind of go around the room to find out if we can figure this out. And, of course, we'll turn it over to Glenn and give us the exact answer. Now, is this an actual case? This is an actual case. Really? So it's it's currently happening right now? Currently happening. 
And I have to tell you, I read the case beforehand. This one's actually really kind of really interesting. Okay. We, we've not had this kind of flair as part of a case before that what happened to her. All right, let's roll. Let's so here's what we're going to do. Is By the way, is Faticus here today? You best believe All right, that very he good. is here. He's never left. I live here. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in and you're just hearing Col- Colbert Court for the first time, we'll read this case. We'll go around the room. We'll try to figure out what the answer is, and then we'll find out what Glenn says. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, find out why, because a lot of these things offer some pretty interesting answers. Here we go, guys. In 2021, Mary was in Daytona over Bike Week with some friends from Pennsylvania. Mm. Mary borrowed Bob's Hummer to go get food. And on the way, the Hummer was T-boned by a car that ran a stop sign at high speed. And Glenn told me beforehand, can I say this? Is this going to ruin it? That the car was going so fast, it actually turned the Hummer over. Oh, a Hummer, an extra heavy vehicle. Right, right, right. So that's that's how fast the car ran the stop sign and hit her broadside. Uh, The woman driving the car that ran the stop sign had just had an argument with her girlfriend and took her girlfriend's keys from the table in the hotel where they were staying and took off in the girlfriend's car. I guess, you know, the owner of the car that ran the stop sign said the girlfriend took her car without permission. In other words, two people get in an argument. Mm -hmm. One person says, I'm getting the hell out of here, grabs the keys, hops in the car and leaves. The problem is it's not her car. It's her girlfriend's car. Mary suffered neck and back injuries from this crash, and due to a heart condition, she has not been recommended for surgery. But she has un- undergone multiple injections into her neck and back for temporary relief, and her doctor has prescribed pain medication opiates for Mary now going on three years. Mary is 39 and now opiate-dependent. What insurance coverages Mm. can you find to help Mary recover compensation for her injuries? And what would be fair compensation for the part of Mary's claim that due to the crash, Mary became an opiate dependent? Mm. That is the that's the flair we haven't had yet. Can I get uh, can I get that last question one more again? Okay. what insurance coverage can you find to help Mary recover compensation for her injuries? And what would be fair compensation for the part of Mary's claim that due to the crash, she became an opiate dependent? This one has a whole bunch of nooks and crannies. And Glenn shook his head to agree that this one is unique. What happened to the driver of the stolen car at that rate of speed hitting the side of a Hummer head on? Did that driver survive? Yeah, she actually took off running. (laughs) Oh, my So she hits a car hard enough to tip it over, a car like a Hummer, and not only did it not injure her, she took off running. Yeah, Physically ran away. She was injured to some degree, but she took off running. Wow. So Mary obviously has major injuries and, like, the heart condition. By the way, is this normal with a heart condition that that won't allow surgery? Yeah, you know, it's it's unusual for me, too, but that's the doctors just don't want to do surgery, and uh, they're saying she has a heart condition. We feel like uh, there's no benefit. that She's gone through all kinds of injections uh, in her neck and her back, and you can only get so many during a certain period of time. Right, cortisone shots. You can only get so many isolated cortisone shots within your lifetime, actually. Steroid. Well, steroids, uh, you know, a certain number a year you can can get, and that's about it. And she's on other medications, too, muscle relaxers, that sort of thing. And she's only 39 years 39. old. Does she have children? Uh, she has children, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mary yep. does have kids. Yeah. All right. And Oof. this happened three years ago. So yep. she was she was 36 when this happened. So you can assume her kids, if she had mm-hmm. them at a, a relatively normal age or whatever, I guess. I don't know how, even how to say that. Uh, at maybe, let's say, 25. They're, they're the kids under 18. Are be, yeah, under yeah. 18 years yeah. old. You know, probably young teenagers now. Still minors. Yeah. Still minors, yeah. for sure. And this is a case we're trying to figure out where the insurance coverage is that's going to help her. And the other thing that would be helpful is what folks feel about what's fair compensation for having someone to become opioid dependent. Yeah, that to me, that's the yeah. gigantic question mark. Yeah. Let's, let's start with the stuff that we maybe know a little bit about. Of course, I mean, we know that the person who ran the stop sign is at fault. The mm-hmm. question is, is does... Does that person have insurance on that car? Because really, it doesn't really matter who's driving the vehicle, right? If the vehicle has insurance on it, the vehicle's insurance would cover whatever the insurance is. Unless what- if it's stolen. However, I remember from a previous Colbert court, you also have to do your due diligence in in protecting the keys. Right. So it's not like it's if you leave your keys on the table and then claim it's stolen, you did not secure your keys. So I, I think 
that might be hard to make that claim. And you'd want to be able to go after the driver and the owner of the vehicle because if the if the driver does have some form of insurance somewhere, you want to be able to get as much monies as you can. Right. Mm. If this, there's no precedent set with this girl borrowing this girl's car at any time, that would be diff- that would that would kind of separate that could separate the stolen thing, right? Right. Like true. if she normally doesn't use this girl's car, what you're gonna say? Never used it before. Never used it before. But still, doesn't it make to the point that Jack made that? You know, while she may never have used the car before, they are in a relationship. They were staying in the same hotel room. There was no uh, effort made to hide the car keys from the other person. I think it's something that happened in the heat of the moment, but there was no precedent set in the relationship. I still think it makes the driver and the owner of the vehicle liable for the accident, especially since the driver ran. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Faticus? First of all, I would like to say that this case is exactly like nailing jello to an oak tree. We can get it done, but only if it's a little cold out. <laughs> okay, I don't know why that applies, but that's fine. All right, well, let's just get that out of the way. May I ask the court a question? Sure, sure. Big trouble. Little China, have you seen it? <laughs> no. Big villain, David Lopon, main character, hero, Jack. I, I'm lost, but what, go ahead. What I was trying to get at... <laughs> What I was trying to get at is that I believe Miss Roberts over there in the corner. First of all, who put Miss Roberts in the corner? Nobody puts Roberts in the corner. That's right. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I believe that the person's car whose car keys were taken from the girl, correct? Yep. All right. That man solely responsible. Oh, so the person who owns the vehicle that was stolen is Uh, responsible. 100% all on him. Those keys are your responsibility. Are they not? Yeah, but come on, man. Oh, come on, man. There is no come on, man, in the law. In my house... In my house, I should be able to leave my keys in a place. Like if I have a hook on the door, I have a place. Everybody has a place where they put their keys when they get home, right? Absolutely. I've got a corner of my counter that my money clip, my keys, my watch all sit there overnight. Mm-hmm. All right. My son lives in the house. I shouldn't have to hide my keys in my own home to avoid the responsibility of them possibly being possibly being stolen. Well, that, That's ridiculous. That argument is as binding as a wet noodle in a hurricane. I don't. Okay. So, I think. <laughs> So the thing that might come into play is because they were arguing, uh, arguing, establishing that uh, that there was, a, you know, a, an emotional distress where the person left. So taking the car without, uh, you know, without permission, I think that might protect the owner of the vehicle to a degree. But it doesn't protect Mary. It doesn't give her anything, right? If the car is stolen, she it... needs uninsured motorist yeah, yeah. coverage yeah. in this situation. Did, let me ask, buddy, does it really does it change the game if the car was stolen? Does... Well, let me ask you a question. If your son hmm. takes your car where your keys are hmm. out and he causes an accident, are you going to tell your insurance company he didn't have permission to use the car? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I mean, I probably would, yeah, because if I didn't give him explicit inf- uh, if if I didn't give him explicit permission to use my vehicle, mm-hmm. I mean, I understand what you're saying right, because right. now you have to rat out your own family member, kind of thing, right? right or not right, rat him out, right. or you and, you have then, to tell a lie. And then your insurance will say, "Well, we're not going to cover the accident. Then uh, whatever is owed is, I guess, on you." Hmm. Oh wow. I remember that there was a case in the in the near uh, past that we had about a car getting stolen. Yeah, because the person kept mm-hmm. the keys in the trunk. And it was the keys that was the big crossroads but, moment but, because your keys she, are your responsibility. But, she was house sitting. But, but leaving the but understood, but leaving your keys or having your keys in your home where you live, you shouldn't have to protect your keys in your own home. That's like, his relationship problem. Am I wrong here? Am I like way wrong? Well, no, it, it's uh, but if your family member takes your keys that you leave out in the open and takes your car and you haven't explicitly told them you're never to do that, then you could be on the hook and, and your insurance company could be on the hook. What, what, is there insurance on this vehicle? There's insurance. Yeah, there's yeah. insurance on the, the owner has insurance. The driver had a little bit of insurance. And as Jack says, uh, let's look at uninsured motorist coverage. Nobody's right. really talked about it except Jack. Yeah, yeah, but that's his thing. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but, uninsured motorist coverage from both the driver and the owner of the vehicle. That's exactly right. And then if there's any other insurance that you can go after, mm-hmm. you know, to help Mary, specifically more on the owner of the vehicle than on the driver, you take whatever little insurance that driver had. Uh, hopefully they have they have to have uninsured right. motorists. So what you're saying is well, if, if, if oh, good. Here's the the uninsured motorist coverage comes from the owner of the Hummer. Uh, and, okay. And the owner and, and Mary, you get liability insurance from the person's car who 
left the keys out, and you get liability insurance from the person who caused the crash. But your uninsured motorist coverage then steps in and pays an addition to whatever your claim is worth up to the limits of the coverage for what the owner who left the keys and the driver's insurance are unable to cover because they don't they don't have enough insurance. Right. Which is the case here. So the Hummer has uninsured motorist coverage and Mary has uninsured motorist coverage. And in this particular case, the owner of the Hummer has great uninsured motorist coverage. Oh, really? Good. And okay. liability insurance as well? Uh, they're not liable. Yeah, they're, they're not, not liable. liable. Yeah, they're not liable. liable. Liability insurance is when you're liable for causing yeah. it. All right. right. We only have a few minutes, so we're going to get to the opiate part that yeah. we can kind of sum this up. Oh, okay. man. So she's been addicted to opiates now for three years. None mm. of the ejections, whether it be a, a cortisone or a steroids, none of that works. The only thing that gives her... Um, relief are opiates. She is now an addict, and it looks like that's not going to change because now she still can't have the surgery because of the heart condition, and the only thing that allows her to have a normal day is taking opiates, but now she's an addict. So now they have to pay for that, and what did that take from her? So, I mean, obviously... It took a Everything. lot of things. So what, you know, her ability to be a mom, possibly her ability to drive a car, her ability to, to do a lot of those things. What is that word? And where do you get that from? The, well, not, we're going to get it from the uninsured motorist coverage. But the interesting question is, what's it worth? Uh, I know what we th- think it's worth. And I know what the insurance company on the other okay. side says they think it's worth. I'm just wondering what everybody else thinks it's worth. What do you think it's worth? What do you think a year, I mean, three years of being an opiate addict and look, looking like it's going to be like that for the remainder of her life, yeah. right? That's what you're kind of considering. That's Five million dollars. Yeah. Oof. Mm, no. Gruesome. No. Okay, so hold on now. Hundred It would be lifetime. interesting to see what uh, listeners might uh, text I, I, in, too. I, I'm actually surprised that the insurance is covering this aspect of it because... Yeah. Uh, this is what happens when you get a good lawyer. You, you know, said $5 really million? It's, it's the Sackler Man, family I gotta tell is you, really... I don't think that's that bad of a guess. I'll, yeah, I gotta tell you, I'll go two and a half. I'll go two and a half million Damn, dollars. Because sure would... it's got to be like a certain amount of money per year up until what she would consider mm-hmm. the end of her work life, which is you know, literally 67. 30 years from now. And she's already been doing it for thir- mm-hmm. uh, three. So 35 times whatever you think that number is is where it is. Mm. Plus the ability of her to keep a job and we don't know what she because was doing. she's an opioid addict. That could mm-hmm. affect her ability well, to get a job, keep that job, which would ap- impact her ability to care for her minor children, feed them, clothe them, educate them, have a vehicle, have groceries, right, right. utilities. Do we know what she did for a living before this? Uh, she was a, a bank teller at one point, okay. but then she was between jobs when this crash happened. Okay, so she was a bank teller at one point. So I say 2.5. He says 5. What do you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said 2.5. I'm going to have to go with something even stronger. Okay. I'm going to have to go with $22 million. $22 million. Deb, there is a gigantic stretch here. Jack, you go first. He already did it. I said five. five million. Oh, I said, said two and a half. I'll he say said seven. Seven million. Yeah. It, it's good to get all those numbers because uh, there's not that much insurance, but we're claiming that it's absolutely worth all of it. And we're just dealing with an insurance company that thinks otherwise. So we'll see what happens with it. Uh, any text in from callers? Let's no, see. no, no. I haven't seen any asking about the total number there because yeah. we just kind of got to it. And it only takes a yeah. few minutes to get it yeah. out there. But sure. what can you tell us what you're asking for? Can yeah. you do that? Yeah, sure. There's uh, two million in coverage. Two million. That's what yeah. you're looking for. Is yeah. Two million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, and out, huh? It'll be interesting to see what happens. That ultimately yeah. happens. Damn. So that's two million total. That was with the opiate, with the injuries, with everything. Yeah. Well, the owner and driver have a small amount of insurance. Oh, I see. And then she has a small amount of uninsured motorist coverage. The, the, the thank God the Hummer has great uninsured motorist where, coverage. And where that two million comes from? Her the that car comes insurance? from the Hummer's uninsured motorist. Yeah, there coverage. you go. Yeah. Yep. Wow. She's, she's in a in a fellow's car that has great uninsured motorist coverage. That's thank goodness impor- for that. That's how important that is. Yep. I mean, and if with the, if without that, what would she have? Without that, we're looking at probably fifty. Fifty. Yep. For for lifetime injuries, yeah, fifty thousand without that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. When you yeah. Uh, when you and very few it, people like, have that kind of uninsured yeah. motorist coverage. Fifty k to oh, two yeah. million. That's how important uninsured uh, uninsured motorist is. Yeah. Oh, fifty thousand dollars settlement to a two million dollar settlement. Potentially, yeah. Wow. That's it. You know, that's why I tell people when they ask about insurance, buy as much uninsured motorist coverage as you can. Because, unfortunately, the people that cause accidents usually don't have enough coverage uh, to pay for your injuries. Wow. It's just the way it is. And you never know that it's going to be one of these injuries that's going to last a lifetime. I yep. mean, it could be a broken leg. You could be done in six weeks and back on your back on the mend and be ready to go. Or it could be this. Where yep. And these folks couldn't do anything about it. They're driving along, and this crazy person runs a stop sign. Unbelievable. Yep. Great case today, dude. Thanks, thanks. This is really good. Thanks. And one of the reasons you got to hire a guy like Glenn, because, I mean, if you don't know the ins and outs of this law. He does. And, and a lot of people don't. Like, we've heard of attorneys here that that have 
have told clients no, and they come to Glenn, and not only is there not a no, he wounds up getting him you know, a great settlement that takes care of a lot of things that they wouldn't have gotten before. That's why it's so important to know these laws inside and out, and, of course, that's why you've dedicated your life to it. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, man. I'm Give a- it up good and loud for Glenn Clausman. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. That's Glenn Klausman. That's K L A U S M A N Law.com. Office is right there in Winter Park. Again, that's 407 917 1718. And he buys the best suites in the business. Mazzaro's. <laughs> yeah. We'll see Take you care, soon. Everybody. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Slow traffic continues east and westbound on I-4 by the major attractions exits, as well as some delays reported through downtown. Still looking at a crash causing stop-and-go delays southbound on the turnpike between Osceola Parkway and 192. Two lanes remain blocked eastbound on 434 at I-4. Up in Sanford, a crash is causing delays on Ronald Reagan Boulevard at the Greenway. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Camp. This report is sponsored by NextGuard Plus. NextGuard Plus, a Foxalon or Moxidectin and Pyrantal chewable tablets, is the one you want for your dog's monthly protection. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Ask your veterinarian about NextGuard Plus Chews today. There are 14 different fees that can show up on a loan estimate that go directly to your lender. Now, do you know how to identify them in your quote? Don't worry if you don't, because that mortgage guy Don does, and with his expertise and personalized approach, he is going to guide you through every single step, ensuring you get the best mortgage for your needs. Do what I did. Take the fear out of home buying and trust that mortgage guy Don to help you achieve your dream of home ownership. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at thatmortgageguydon.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Have you ever considered a career opportunity in the skilled trades? Kalo Services will be hosting a job fair from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 23rd in Claremont. You'll be able to learn more about our open positions, our team, and the benefits we offer. No prior experience in the trades is required. To register, please visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-7099. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America, fighting for you. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted with Without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit Tanzai.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch, stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzai.com, you will see how we develop stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable. Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm McCoffin and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Hi, my name is Tim Forehand. I'm a deputy sheriff. In my job, keeping me in shape is important. I've tried other products to get my weight down, but nothing has worked like Android 400. In just three months, 
I dropped 51 pounds, down from 230 to 179. Plus, the weight's come off in the stomach area. I've gone from a snug 36 inch waist to a 32 inch waist which i was in high school i highly recommend the Android 400 to all my friends guys are you frustrated because no matter how hard you try it seems impossible to lose stubborn belly fat then discover why thousands of men each month rely on andro 400 lose belly fat gain energy and confidence and feel great about yourself Andro 400, the safe, effective, and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. In St. Augustine, Pontevedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, It'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Car crash? Call Clausman. ClausmanLaw.com. That's K L A U S M A N. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD One Cocoa Beach Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. You can always text us at 77031. You can leave a talk back as well if you'd like. iHeartRadio app. Find the microphone and send it on down the line when you go to Real Radio. It's easy. YouTube, it's easy there as well. JimColbertLive.com. When you get on the YouTube channel, give us a subscribe and like. That's awesome. Helps us out about. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack. Yeah. And Ross as well. It's true. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Let me ask you guys a question. You know, you see the story about Shoei Otani? I know that we covered it yesterday in the news. A little bit. Yeah. More of it is hitting today. <laughs> Shohei actually is his name, right? Yep. Um, did you guys hear the story? No. Oh, um, really? Is it about him still being freakishly great at baseball? No, yeah, no, no not think, so much today. Didn't he uh, Didn't he break the tie that won the Dodgers the game that first came in Mexico City or whatever it was? Didn't he? Because he's a, Aren't they he, in Korea? Or, uh, was it Korea? Yeah, he had his first hit yesterday, but today he uh, it was like his like three hits he's he just, had missed. Yeah, you he, could just tell he was distracted. Yeah, he's just DHing, you know, basically now because I don't think he can play. I don't think he can throw right now, right? He's got a... I think he's got a hurt arm or something. Well, this was uh, at bat. Oh, okay. I see. A uh, longtime interpreter for the L.A. Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani. And a was, close friend. Was fired Wednesday. Yeah, he was a close friend of it. Uh, because of a, quote, massive theft uh, that the attorneys allege is tied to gambling. Now, this is the second time we've seen this. Of course, the Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, Jaguars, I should say. Oh! Uh, just put, um, just find a guy 20, was it 20 million he got hit for that? 20 million he stole and he only got like, what, three years in prison? Yeah, three years in like, prison uh, for that. And then now, and it, the reason I bring that up, it was also for gambling. Yes. Online gambling. So this is exactly what happened to this guy. Uh, this guy had stolen money from Shohei Otani. Um, his interpreter is a guy named, is it Ipe Mizuhara? He has been terminated. Um, and he was a, not only was he his interpreter, but apparently a very close friend. That's a bummer. Of uh, Shohei Otani. Yeah. That would suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you guys, you know, that it, I, you know, when it comes to ultimate betrayal, outside of your spouse doing you wrong, like that, it would have to be your closest friends, maybe family that would do that. But some of your family you even know are squirrely. But when you have a friend, oh. you know, that's a volunteer thing where that friend is in there. With family, you feel there's a bit of an obligation. You're born with your family. You choose your friends. Right, right. Yeah. There's a bit of an obligation there, Jack, where you feel like you have to be close to family because, or you feel like you have to make it work in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. With a friend, it's somebody that you are choosing to be close to, that they have, you have something in common with, you trust them, whatever the case may be. 
I was betrayed twice, both girls, two different girls. Now, friends is, or girlfriends? Were they friends? I, I, I was going to say, because that, I think that makes a big difference, buddy. So, no, they were friends. Just buddies, okay. That then tried to hook up with uh, the girls that I was talking to or had just been talking to. And I understand where, like, hey, well, it's not your girlfriend anymore. But I was also like, bro, you got to wait a week <laughs> yeah, you yeah. gotta give it seven days. Well, a lot of friends have a code internally that you don't. Uh, yeah, you, you, don't, also, you don't do that at all. You also actually. have that code as well. Uh, but then again, it, uh, yeah, I in the 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 girl I lost my virginity to I ended up uh, kind of fooling around with one of my Oof, neighborhood friends. That sucks. Yeah, I had to deal with that. Took that one right on the chin. Did you just have, like her? Did you ever have a buddy that you were really close with? Kind of dog you out like that? Kind of do something sideways to you? Like a you know a male friend that you had kind of really trusted and put a lot of faith into? Uh no, I don't think I've ever really been yeah. stolen. But I and then I had that kind of that same situation. Early twenties, had about a relationship for like about a year. Yeah. Uh, and no, we were dating. We were still in that relationship, and my friend was like, you know, Ross doesn't have to find out. And I was oh, like, oh wow, brother, dude, I couldn't oh, could ever talk to you ever, dude. Again. That is. And then my girlfriend's at the time running up to me, and she's crying. Yeah, I can't. You, you won't believe this. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm you're not, right. I don't. I can't believe this, <laughs> and I will never have to deal with this ever again. Yeah, right? I pre don't believe this, so yeah. you're right. So that was that was. Uh, I canceled yeah. somebody. That's our. By the way, this is our question of the day. Um, you can check that out. It's uh, where we put this check so people it, can get to it. It's actually in two places. You can do it in the YouTube chat. You go to YouTube, search Jim Colbert Show. In the YouTube chat, you can vote. Or also, it's in the story, the Real Radio Instagram, at Real Radio 1041 on Instagram. In the story there, you can tap that, and we'll check both results at the end of the program. Who do you think's worse for this? Do you think girl girls' closest girlfriends are worse at doing this, or do you think guys' friends are worse at kind of, you know, betraying the trust of a good friend. I, I, I this happened to me at, at, at a pretty good level. You know, you know, you have a friend that's very, very close and then something really bad happens. You know, I can't get into it, but it was not good. Was you it know? a male or a female? It was a male. We've been very close friends for a very long time, for a, a few years, and then, you know, it just went sideways uh for the worst possible reason. And uh, you know, you, you again, when you invite people into your home, when you invite people to be around your family, you have to be very careful about how things happen like that because you just never know. Oh yeah, that's true. You just never know. And it was it was it was it was heartbreaking. It was it was heartbreaking in two factions, of course. Oh, of course. But and that, it's a deep 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 like, betrayal. Like you can't even believe it. You're like, you know, wow, man, you know, we've been hanging out for the last like, you know, 3 or 4 or 5 months and you know, and, and this has been kind of bubbling under the surface. Oh. And, you know, I and you just immediately think back like, ah, man, we just played golf and we had a great time. And that whole time, you know, right. that whole time, dude, that You're whole time. This. Yeah, that was happening. So, yeah, not good, man. And it sucks because you, know, you just you, you just sucks. And I don't know what it is, but I mean, you, you break up with a girl, you know, that's one thing. You know, you, 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 it takes about a week. You get over it. You know, maybe two weeks, well, that whatever. On how yeah, much yeah. time you were together? You try to get over a ten but, year relationship in two weeks. Well, I've been through this. I mean, it, the ultimate sadness will last about a week or two weeks, but then you have that you have the residual sadness that lasts for a while. But that initial gut punch, you know, is a couple weeks, week, whatever the case may be. See, I would still consider re- residual sadness as uh, sadness. <laughs> That's why uh, I have levels of sadness, uh, yeah. dog. Well, there's all different <laughs> levels of sadness. Yeah, sure, yeah. there's the choking on your own tears, sadness. Yeah, I've been there's, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're crying because oh, no. you're crying. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I told you this before. I mean, four months after you know after my divorce, I would just be driving on the way to play golf and hear a certain song. And have to pull over and just sob openly for a few minutes before I could get back on the road. Making my way downtown. What a <laughs> <laughs> well, I get it, dude. It gets me every time, too. So, Jack, have you ever been betrayed by a friend? Jack, you have to have friends first. Uh, yeah, uh, I, and I don't. So <laughs> I have to go all the way back to middle school. That's fine, though. There's nothing wrong with that. I yeah. mean, you still have the feelings of being betrayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you what want happened? to get betrayed? Um, it was, there were uh, three of us, and I, you know, I, it's, I, Come to find out, uh, he stole a lot of things from me, oh, was bad mouthing me, and all, all, all that stuff. Yeah, stole stuff out of my house. Damn, really? Uh, did yeah. you fight him? Did not. I, no. I had a kid who stole stuff from my house. You whip I, his ass? And I fought him. Good for you, dude. Yeah, yeah. What'd he take? Uh, he was taking vanilla Cokes. 
Oh, yeah, that's worth a punch. And, and here's the thing. Sweet vanilla Coke. So he was taking, okay, let me, hold on. It's not like I'm that passionate about vanilla Cokes. <laughs> I just knew how hard my mom worked, and I knew oh, yeah. how she would always, like, hype up that, like, don't waste that. That's expensive. That's vanilla Coke. Like, she would always hype up the vanilla Cokes as a treat, <laughs> which they were. Yeah, yeah. So when I found out that my friend Chuck was walking into my home because he knew how to get into it and stealing those vanilla Cokes. Wait, wait, wait. You weren't even there no. when Chuck stole? He was walking into my home and stealing stuff. Oh, damn. And then, Chuck was going to get shot. And then one Chuck's going to be uh, burning on the side of the road. Oh, God, dude, it gets even worse. Because then I looked at my video games and I realized that my Final Fantasy X was missing. Jim, I know you don't know what that is, but just it's a video know, game. It's one of the best Final Fantasies, and I'll die on that hill. I love that game. Shout out to Yuna. That game was missing, and I thought he stole it. That pulled the trigger on it for me to fight this kid. Three months later, my brother returns Final Fantasy oh, X. Oh, 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 that's great. So then I had to be like, but you still stole the vanilla Coke. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. Texting service just checked in and said, my brother married my ex-girlfriend. I'm warning him not to. She took him for everything five years later. Jerry, Jerry. Arma. 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 How about you, Deb? No, not that I can remember. Yeah, you've had a solid good friend for many, many years. Like you decades. and Hillary have been friends for like 30 years, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's just pretty much your rider, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that means she well, never That's would... my East Coast ride. Right, right, right. And then I've got a West Coast ride. Do you consider us friends? Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to be working on it then. Don't ask us, Jack. Wait, wait. Working on what, Jack? Being my friend or figuring out a way to betray that friendship? You're just going to have to wait and see. No. <laughs> Just, I love a cliffhanger. That's a good puzzle. It's isn't a sphinx, it? dude. The puzzle of the year. It's right a there. mirage. Yeah, that is our question of the day. If you get over to our Instagram account or over to our YouTube chat, you also can put your uh, put your vote in if you've ever been betrayed by a friend, and we'll compile those and give you the numbers at the end of the day. That's got to be about halfway. I think everybody has had a terrible situation like that where they've been tra- betrayed by somebody. I just have. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, shout out to Evil Eye. He says I, I. He's my friend. So okay, I've got that one because I don't know. I announced yesterday that Ross is like uh, like my best friend and son, um, and and he kind of I don't think he felt the same way. So well, I, I think we might be on the outs. You call me a best friend, son, and I'm like, dude, that reminds me of the stabby shooty guns. <laughs> Just choose one. <laughs> are we stabbing or are we shooting? All right, 407 916 1041. We can take a little break. We'll come back. Seb Hines is going to join us. He's the coach for Orlando City Pride. Their home owner opener is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock at Inter and Co Stadium. They're versus uh, Angel City FC from LA. We'll talk to Seb right after this. Sure, you could use it to work out. Are you ready to work together to create a healthier life? Um... Or you could just say, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Looking at some slow traffic on I-4, both east and westbound between the Beach Line and 535 this afternoon. Things are also slow between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. Normal slowdowns now reported north and southbound for those traveling on the Turnpike in Kissimmee, as well as up near the Oakland Exchange exit. Beginning to see some slow traffic on the Greenway as well between John Young Parkway and OBT. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. Let Express Employment Professionals help you hire for contract or full-time jobs. Forget about posting jobs, sifting through resumes, and interviews with unqualified applicants. Go to ExpressPros.com to find the location near you. That's ExpressPros.com. Jim Colbert Show question of the day is posted. We invite you to chat, our YouTube chat. It's also on the Real Radio Instagram story. It's brought to you by the Home Builders Network. Now. The home, your home is probably the biggest investment most of us are making in our lifetime. You need to maintain it, take care of it, and when something goes wrong, you need someone to make it right. You can do that, and you can find that someone at the Home Builders Network. That's where you connect with Mike, the home builder. And when there is new doors, new windows, new roof, gutters, he can handle it. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Mike did my roof a year ago, got gutters as well. If you need windows, doors, matter of fact, 
the Home Builders Network was nominated by Orlando's Best for Best Windows and Doors. So when it comes time to doing something for your home, go to HBNUSA.com for the Home Builders Network. That's HBNUSA.com. Skip the mall this year and meet the Easter Bunny at the world's largest hard rock cafe right here in Orlando. Join us at Universal City Walk Saturday, March 23rd, starting at 9 a.m. for a rockin' breakfast that includes cookie decorating, crafts, and your family photo with the bunny, all included. The bunny is very busy, as you can imagine, so RSVP and reserve your table today. HardRockCafe.com slash Orlando. That's HardRockCafe.com slash Orlando. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving. And get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Tools they Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Trigger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Radio! Radio! 104.1 The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us easily at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. hi Ross is as well. It's true. You guys give it up good and loud for Mr. Seb Hines. Yay! Yeah! Woohoo! 
Coach for Orlando Pride. They're playing tomorrow night versus the Angel City FC. Seb, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> it's good to have you, buddy. You look terrified. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm good. good. I'm, so, uh, yeah. the, you know, the club opened the season uh, last week or uh, versus Louisville this past week. A uh, 2-2 draw. You guys fought back for that. Um, got a game coming up tomorrow night versus uh, Angel City. So as you kind of move through the season, the beginning of the season, do you even really look at these first few games as, you know, must wins? Or are you, as a coach, the first couple games trying to get an idea or a gauge of what the team has to offer and each position has to offer? Or do you already know that? No, you bring up a really good point because, you know, going through the experiences that we went through last year, we we got off to a rough start. You know, we didn't get a single point in our first four games last year and it it played dividends in where we uh, positioned ourselves. We just missed out off on playoffs um, just by a point or a couple of goals. So to get the first point uh, in our first game under the circumstances that we had, um, you know, we were down to 10 players, we were down to nil and showed a lot of resilience to come back and earn a hard fought point. That was really important for us to be moving in the right direction. Um, you know, after two games, though, you you don't want to say that, you know, it's going to play a big factor on where we position ourselves. We know internally what we need to achieve this year. And we want to put a show on for our fans uh, in our home stadium against a good uh, a good team in Angel City. So, yeah, we, we just want to entertain our fans. We want them to come out and we want them to have more uh, exposure to these incredible players that we have uh, at our disposal. So, yeah, looking really excited to this uh, opening game coming up. Orlando Pride coach Seb Hines joins us. Yeah, Seb, the uh, you, you, obviously you were part and famously part of Orlando City's their first three years in MLS in 2015 through 2017. Uh, and now you make that transition into coaching. When... When did you know that was something you wanted to do? Was that like kind of in the back of your mind as you were playing or was it something just the opportunity presented itself so you figured you'd take your shot? Yeah, it's a little bit of both really. Um, you know, I had some great years at Orlando City, you know, played in those first home openers where it was a big campaign to fill the bowl and it was an incredible experience to get 62,000 uh, fans out there to support the team. So being a part of that was really exciting. Um, and, you know, as any player, as they come into the end of their career, they start thinking, oh, what's the next step? And for me, you know, in that last year in 2017, um, you know, suffered with a lot of injuries throughout my career, but especially in 2017, um, you start thinking, what what is my next step? And so... Tom Samani, who was the head coach of Orlando Pride, gave me a, a wonderful opportunity to come in and and be a part of uh, of the Orlando Pride with some brilliant players and just for me to give my experiences as a player to to the rest of the squad. And so, yeah, it kind of just snowballed from there. I've moved my way into, uh, well, from a volunteer role to assistant coach role to now head coach of the of the Pride. So... Yeah, I've just managed to work my way up the ladder to now lead this team and and hopefully bring championships to this team because, you know, this team's been a this club has been a, a sleeping giant and so we've had a lot of great players here but haven't really achieved anything in the in the since it started. So Tom Sermani opened that door for you. What a great guy! I, I mean, I remember when yeah. he used to uh, come in when he was with the team. He was just, I mean, that that cat is just fun to be around wherever you are. And so yeah, for sure. I, I still speak to Tom now, like even just, uh, you know, as a as a role model, you know, he's he's worked under some fantastic teams and just to have him as guidance has been brilliant for my career and my development. Well, Seb, I, I saw Kay Rollins, uh, of course, the the grand dame of yeah. all that has to do with Orlando Pride, Orlando City. And she was really excited about some new players that you guys had just recently signed. So can you talk a little bit about that and, and what you're hoping they bring to the team this season that helps that sleeping giant wake up and make everyone else take notice? Yeah, first of all, you know, what a, uh, a brilliant person Kay is. You know, she... Uh, She's okay. Let's not, listen, her ego is already terrible. <laughs> right, let's, let's, let's not do anything ridiculous here. You barely get her in the building already. I have to shout, Kay, because you know she's been she's been terrific for she's me. Awesome. And, uh, 
and and the club and the team and so yeah she's been first class and you know to answer your question we have added some quality to this roster you know we made the second highest transfer in women's football with Barbara Banda um we're all excited to have her here she's a striker she's a pace power uh, athletic player who suits this mold of NWSL players and so we're super excited to have her here along with um, you know Luana Angelina two Brazilians who, who've added to our Brazilian contingency um, within the club um, you know we've added experience with Morgan Gautra who's won two World Cups um, been very successful in NWSL and just to add her experience is really important for us throughout the season and then we've added a couple of young players through the draft. Um, you know, Ali Lamos, very talented young player, U20 international. Um, Corey Dyke has also played youth level uh, for her national team. Uh, Evelina Duljon, who's a U20 uh, Swedish international as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot of quality. There's a lot of competition around the roster as well, which is important for us to stay competitive uh, throughout the season. But it's really exciting for all of us. And yeah, I have some uh, difficult decisions to make uh, because there's a lot of quality within the squad. So players are fine to get on the bench. Bench players are fine to get starting roles. And the players who are starting need to hold on to their shirt. And so it's uh, it's super competitive, but it's a good place to be. Orlando Pride coach Seb Hines joins us. I have two and a half million questions for you, Seb. But let's <laughs> okay. let's start off with one thing. I'm, I know this uh, for a fact. Marta is the single greatest and biggest impact uh, that female soccer has ever seen, not just here in the States or in Florida, on this planet ever, in my opinion. What is it like? You know, what, I was going to ask that very thing. Like, how do how do you do that? Like, when a mega star comes in, how do you even deal with that? You're essentially, in my mind, you're the the manager of a of a goddess when it comes to what this sport is asking. Not just when it comes to on the field, but off the field. When and I think uh, when she exited the World Cup, she gave one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard in my life. Absolutely. What is yeah. it like being around that level of leadership while also knowing you're being asked to lead that, to lead that individual? Yeah, I mean, you 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 treat her as a as a person first, and she's a she's a top person. You know, she's a quality human being and you know she wants best for uh, the team and so you know like you said she's won every accolade you can imagine as an individual six-time world player of the year um she's an ambassador for women's football and and just to be in her presence is is you know amazing for me and i can learn so much from her also as a as a head coach but yeah we, we you know everyone's a human being she's a footballer she's brilliant to be around she's super competitive it doesn't matter if it's a you know a small sided game in a training session or a, a game on friday night in front of our home fans like she treats it the same and so yeah, we're just in a really privileged position to have her here. And, and you know, we we owe a lot to her because what she's given to the game is uh, is remarkable. So, yeah, she's uh, she's a brilliant uh, player and, and person. And and there's not many times where I'm ever going to get to ask this question to a 100% head manager of a soccer team. So, you know, in basketball and football, a lot of Americans are so accustomed to seeing a game plan, an actual play. You go over here at this exact time. But in soccer, it's is it's not exactly calling exact plays outside of maybe set pieces. But for the most part, how do you manage something? I've always wanted to know this. How do you coach or how do you teach that something that does not really stop? It's always ebb and flowing throughout the throughout the match so how do you coach decision making i guess is my question you yeah well you you embrace the player um to make decisions like you said in, in other sports everything's a set play everything you you run routes um and so soccer's a little bit different to that it's the only game I've known since I was a, a little kid. It's the only game I've played, really. And so the more exposure that you have to different situations and scenarios, you have to make them decisions depending on 
you know how a how a player presses or a team shape or formation and you got to find little uh solutions within that and and also what's really important is you have to build relationships um and a lot of that a lot of that work is done in pre-season we we decided to go away to img for a week um we have the privilege of a lot of teams coming out to florida um but for us you know getting away from our facility, making sure that the players get to know each other, especially when we bring a lot of young uh, young players and new players into your uh, into your squad, they have to immediately start building relationships, get to know each other, how each other are not only on the field but off the field as well. And so, we build our um, culture off those relationships as well. You know, you call values and and everything. And so, once you do that you can have all the best players in the world but it's the team that wins the game and so we've really had a big team emphasis on that and it's the little little details that go a long way that transfers onto the field and so uh it's a it's a long long process but um it's really really important uh especially in a game like soccer where you you've got to find different solutions and we're just there to guide the players along that journey talking to seb hines he is the coach for orlando pride soccer they open their season here at home tomorrow night at entering coast stadium game times eight o'clock uh versus angel city fc from la um so how did you get so your name is sebastian who was the first person to call you seb my uh oh seb uh, i don't know i think that started when you know i started school everyone else called me sebastian funny story my my granddad and my dad uh are both called fred larry hines and so traditionally i would have been called fred larry hines the third but my mom put a stop to it and said no i'm calling our first born son uh sebastian and so that's that's where I am with uh, Sebastian. So I, I have to ask as well. So you've had the unique opportunity of playing at the highest level, you know, in in uh, in Europe. You play at those levels. You guys started yeah. really young in the states. Here we start, you know, you know, t-ball young. You guys are playing professional sports at 14 years old. So yeah. you've played with men. Now you're coaching women. You see the fire from both sides. Now look, man. You know, women's sports is very, very competitive. These women are brutal. I was around some pretty competitive volleyball players for a big part of my life as my daughter was a college player, and I saw the fire. So when you look out at the field with the teams that you've played with, and now coaching women, when you look at that fire and that drive to win, is there a side of that equation that looks at that a little bit more ferociously? You have to embrace it. I think it's brilliant. I I love every moment of that. I think you know you've got. A group of athletes who are who are willing to do whatever it takes to to win a game, and I think that's that's amazing, and that's actually the easier side to to manage, um, because you that's never without question that they're going to give it every, absolutely everything. So, yeah, I I love that part. You don't have to motivate them; they they just want to go out there and give it their all, and I think that's just brilliant to to be around. Oh, there are no shrinking violets. <laughs> yeah. uh, Seb, you hey, probably you have one of the greatest opinions about something, and I'm not quite sure if you are aware of this. All right, so you from England? Oh, oh he looks scared as hell. Oh, oh, check this oh, out. Oh, they hit him in the face it, with it. He this, looks. He looks horrified. Here it comes, Seb, because I, I find this interesting. Right, so from England, here in the states, played professional soccer for Orlando City as a center back. Thank you for all the headers off those corners, by the way. <laughs> You made me no spill problem. about $45 worth of beer, though, throughout your entire career. We'll wait for the check. Uh, so, but my question is, Ted Lasso. Ooh, <laughs> do great you, question. Do you think that did more damage? Did it help? Did it? What are? What is? I'm so curious about what, what your opinion is about Ted Lasso. What a great question. Gaining massive success internationally. What are your thoughts? Did you watch it? Uh it took me it took it took me a while to watch it um I, i'm not i can't say i'm completely familiar with it that much um but you know i think it's a show i think it's entertaining it's a comedy i think it's is great uh for viewers to watch um it's somewhat realistic i would say um in terms of the environment in in england but yeah i think it's uh oh, i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's a good thing to have that 
uh, televised and and entertainment for um, multiple viewers. He's holding back. There's, All right, something, there's so, something there. He's holding back. He's not, <laughs> he's not telling us something. He's not saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. I can smell that. They're all the way through the Zoom feed. Seb, I've got a billion-dollar <laughs> idea for you, though. You go ahead, if you know, after the Pride, after you win all the trophies, you go ahead, get hired by the Buccaneers. Uh-oh, Apple TV calls. What do they want? Okay. Season one of Seb Lasso as you coach the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> it's a reverse Ted Lasso. It's guaranteed to work. Yeah, it is guaranteed to work. I like the idea yeah. immediately. See how it works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, you're in your mid 30s. Uh, and interestingly, in the world of soccer, uh, you know, of course, you know, because of you guys start so young, your career, you had a, what? How long was your professional career, Seb? Eight, 10 years, 12 years? Uh, it was longer than that because I, I started uh, at 16. And so I was already in a first team environment in Middlesbrough, England, playing against, uh, playing with some of the best players in the world at that time. So, yeah, I started young, but I was I was, you know, plagued with injuries. I've, I've I can I can go through a list of injuries that I had, and so that shortened my career. And so I ended up uh, stopped playing at twenty nine. So yeah, I, I'm still a young coach. But inter- um, yeah, but interestingly though, being around the game, does that still give you the fulfillment of competition? Because you're so young. I mean, you can it, just in the barely rear view of your mirror, you can still see your career that was there. You're still obviously in great shape, very athletic. Is it hard for you to coach and not want to play? Do you ever get that that vibe again where you you really want to you feel like you can get back out there and be good? Yeah, I mean, don't let my body disguise what's <laughs> hiding underneath because <laughs> I feel like fifty at times when I'm, yeah. when I'm doing uh, uh, you know, something. But no, I, I no, I, I I know what I achieved in my career, and I'm very um, you know. Uh, privileged to have had a, a great career um but this is a new chapter in my life now um that career has gone now um i'm wanting to you know do something incredible with the Orlando pride bring success to Orlando, lift a trophy have an open top bus around the city you know that's where my main focus is now and so yeah i had a great career i'm, I'm very uh, happy for what i did in my career um happy that you know i was here for the first three years of uh, Orlando City and MLS, but yeah, I'm, I've moved on now and I'm wanting to do something right on, man. More incredible with the uh, the pride. Good, good for you, buddy. Uh, when it, we were just talking about age and professional athletes, we're in this new dawn of seeing athletes knocking on the age of forty and playing at a high, high level. There's not many people I know that are in your shoes that you've played at that high level. Try to explain quickly to us plebeians how insane it is that LeBron is still playing basketball. How insane it is that Ronaldo is still out on the pitch. That these Marta. athletes, Marta, Messi, I, I, Messi yeah, that, Ma is older than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so hey, easy, buddy. What up? Yeah, so, <laughs> in America, we don't do that. No, uh, we, yeah, yeah. But we all know. No. Our, our women will shoot you. But uh, try. <laughs> I'm so curious uh, to someone who's not a professional athlete. How hard is that? How rare is that? Yeah, it's very rare. But you know, testament to those uh, athletes because the the the. the the work that you put through your body and especially like basketball, because they play like what, three times uh, a week at, at sometimes. Oh yeah. 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 And then that is, that is super strenuous on, on your body. And so testament to them um, having to bear through all of that pain, but it comes down to dedication. It comes down to how much investment are you putting into your body? You know, making sure that, you are look, looking after your body, you know, your your recovery, your sleep, your training, your your games, you know, your your film, all of that uh, all plays a part of it. And so, yeah, it comes down to dedication. Yeah. And, you know, you've got to make sacrifices yep. along that journey as well. You know, sure thing. It's very easy to get outside distractions, but you've got to remain focused on what your task is. And 
yeah, they, they've managed to do it until, you know, the late thirties. And, you know, that's incredible because it's, it's not an easy job. Well, Seb, we really appreciate your time, buddy. And we're really uh, rooting for you and excited for you tomorrow night. Enter in coast stadium, eight o'clock versus angel city FC. Jack, how do they get tickets? Orlando dash pride.com. You go to Orlando dash pride.com. You can click on tickets right there. And I believe he didn't say it, but I believe he's thinking it. Seb is guaranteeing a victory for the pride tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> right, Seb? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Good and loud for Mr. Seb Hines. Yeah, right. Good job. Hey, go Pride. Thanks, hey, coach. Get up there. Kill him, Seb. Good Thank job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, buddy. We'll see you Thank soon. You, Seb. There he is, man. That's right. Way. Tomorrow night, uh, Orlando Pride plays Angel City FC from L.A., 8 o'clock. Enter in Coast Stadium, Orlando-Pride.com. Grab your tickets. It's going to be a great game. See one of the best players that ever played the game. Marta will be there as well. Yep. Uh, it's just going to be awesome. So we hope to see you guys out there. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Load them up. It's time for trivia. We'll do that right after this. We have a prize. <laughs> Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. We've got our first upset of the NCAA tournament. 11 seeded Duquesne held off 6 seed BYU today to advance in the East Region. As for Stetson, they've got their dancing shoes on and hope to do the nearly impossible. The Hatters will face top overall seed UConn. That one's tomorrow. And the Magic will put a four-game winning streak on the line tonight when they take on the Pelicans. Orlando's won nine of their last 11 games overall. I'm Scott Davidson. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorneys. Skip the mall this year and meet the Easter Bunny at the world's largest hard rock cafe right here in Orlando. Join us at Universal City Walk Saturday, March 23rd, starting at 9 a.m. for a rockin' breakfast that includes cookie decorating, crafts, and your family photo with the bunny, all included. The bunny is very busy, as you can imagine, so RSVP and reserve your table today. Hardrockcafe.com slash Orlando. That's hardrockcafe.com slash Orlando. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Wednesday at 8.35 on the Monsters in the Morning. Ray Trendley and the Monsters will be discussing all things law, from the latest celebrity legal troubles to what's going on out there. 
there. The Lombardi may have been lifted, but that doesn't mean there's no football to talk about. It's the offseason, and there's no better way to stay up to date with the latest from our league than with the Around the NFL podcast for news and fresh content all offseason long. From the start of free agency, where we'll break down familiar faces headed to new places, to the next generation of superstars walking across that stage at the NFL draft, listen to the Around the NFL podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Heed the call. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Skip the mall this year and meet the Easter Bunny at the world's largest hard rock cafe right here in Orlando. Join us at Universal City Walk Saturday, March 23rd, starting at 9 a.m. for a rockin' breakfast that includes cookie decorating, crafts, and your family photo with the bunny, all included. The bunny is very busy, as you can imagine, so RSVP and reserve your table today. HardRockCafe.com slash Orlando. That's HardRockCafe.com slash Orlando. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. We can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at centomoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's only one place to watch this nonsense at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Yeah, so get this one. Uh, I got divorced with my ex because she was cheating on me with my best friend. But not just my best friend. My best friend since seventh grade, oh. the best man at my wedding, oh. and the godfather to my children. Oh, oh my God. They recently bought a house and are living together now. So how's that for some betrayal, huh? Yeah, that's not good, boss. <laughs> Have a great show, guys. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Burn buddy. It down. Appreciate that. Yeah, burn it down. All right, 916 <laughs> text us 77031. You want to check us out on YouTube? You can do that. Go to jimcorbertlive.com. Click right through to our YouTube channel while you're there. Do us a little favor. Give us a subscribe and like. That helps us out quite a bit. We appreciate it greatly. Yeah. Uh, I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is. Yeah. And Ross has the sauce jar. Yellow boy. Chugga chugga. Choo choo. I have beautiful pair of tickets.
to go see Orlando City SC versus Austin FC March 23rd. Hey, that is this Saturday at Inter and Co Stadium. Orlando City, by the way, is also hosting their first ever post-match concert. That's right, the I Love the 90s concert presented by Inter and Co. The concert will feature Vanilla Ice, Rob Bass, and Montel Jordan. I'm trying to go Ninja Go. You know, I'm trying to go Ninja Go. <laughs> Go oh, to that's it. right. Vanilla yeah, Ice. Dude, that, that's go. Vanilla Ice, right? Well, well, I mean, I butchered it. I forgot. I mean, I wonder if he's going to do it. He might not. Fingers across. That is your soft star, which is always brought to you by. Sento Family Moving and Storage put their fully trained expert moving crews to the test. But be aware, they're adept in packing your things, handling your furniture, safe driving, customer service, and so much more. Oh, speaking of more. If you mention the Jim Colbert Show, that's going to get you a discount. So book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. Low clickety clack. Back to you. Thank you so much, Deborah. Sure. Appreciate that. Ross, who's first today, buddy? Let's welcome Derek. Derek, right up top. Derek, how you doing? I'm well. How are you? Doing good, boss. Would you like to play a little game with us? Let's do it. Let's do it indeed. We want to play a game. All right, Derek, this is a really easy game. Got a questionnaire for you, four answers. One of them is untrue. It's a lie. I made it up. <gasps> if you find that one, though, I'll send you over to an Orlando City soccer match where you can also see Vanilla Ice, Rob Bass, and Montel Jordan. Are you ready? I am. Here we go, buddy. On this day in 1935, the country of Persia is officially renamed Everybody. Iran. Here are the three front... Mm, try that again. Uh, <laughs> Reload. Here are three fun facts about Iran and one flying rug of a lie. <gasps> Number one. In Iran, sneezing in public is considered bad luck and very rude. Number two. Iran produces the world's best caviar. Number three. Iran has one of the youngest populations in the world. 70% of Iran's population is under the age of 30. Or lastly, starting around 550 BC, Iran had the world's first postal system which of those is a lie i'm gonna go with number three no nah, dude that's true wow. iran does have one of the youngest populations on planet earth 70 percent of their population by the way there's 83 million people in iran 70 percent of those people are under the age of 30 ross who's next let's welcome chris chris right there on line four chris how you doing boss Doing great, you. Good, man. We're talking about Iran here. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, in Iran, sneezing in public is considered bad luck and very rude. Number two, Iran produces the world's best caviar. Or lastly, starting around 550 BC, Iran had the world's very first postal system. Which of those is a lie? I'm going to go with the last one. No, buddy, that's true. That is absolutely true. Whoa. Starting around 550 B.C., it has been found that Iran had one of the very first operating postal systems or mail or delivery systems for messages. So that's true. Amazon's not as young as we thought. No, it's <laughs> not at all. Who's next, buddy? Let's welcome Nick. Nick right there at the bottom. Nick, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Good, buddy. We're talking about Iran, and you have a 50-50 chance of going Ooh. to see Orlando City Soccer Club play this weekend and see a pretty cool concert as well. We're talking about Iran. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, Iran. In Iran, sneezing in public is considered bad luck and very rude, or Iran produces the world's best caviar. Uh, me and my kid are going to go with the first one. And you and your kid are going to go see Orlando City, City Soccer, Vanilla yeah. Ice, Rob Bass, yeah. and Montel Jordan, because you are the winner, buddy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy, you're a winner, man. You guys have a, good, have a good time, Nick, all right? Thank you. Appreciate you got it, buddy. Yeah, first thing. First thing. Sure thing. All those things. What am I doing? What is wrong with me this week? A couple more. I mean, I'm not getting worried or anything. Yeah, you shouldn't get worried. I just get tongue-tied sometimes. I go too fast. I slept too well last night. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I got too much sleep, and I get fired up. <laughs> so you're Jimmy told me the other day that this is slow, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, man. I'm telling you, when I get a good night's sleep, I lose my mind. I like well, hover in place. Let's see him on Adderall. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about that? Iran produces the world's best caviar. I thought for sure that was the lie because I've always thought that that was Russia. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's Iran because of where they where they sit. Is it on the Caspian Sea? Is that it? Or what's the sea there? Um, I believe it is the Caspian Sea. Or no, is it the Persian Gulf? 
Probably. Either way, they have access to this one sturgeon that is very, very, very sought after, and it gives the best uh-huh. caviar. I don't know my capes, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> a couple other things you may not know about Iran before we get over to Ross' thoughts. Satellite television is banned in Iran. I would imagine so. And what's interesting about that is, is all you see when you look at houses of Iran is satellite dishes. Uh, they don't really pay attention. They get their TV. <laughs> uh, the current Iranian flag is how many years old? I'm going to go 2,000. 2,000 years old. 1,200. 1,200 years old. Shut sure the cat. 700. Yeah, 40. Yeah, because they just, just added the Cypress <laughs> trees. It's just 40 years old, right? It is the Persian Gulf, by the way. In Iran, men who do not <laughs> marry live with their family for their entire lives. Mm. So if you don't marry as a man in Iran, you live at home until your parents die, and then you live there. You do not move out. You don't get a place by yourself. You stay at home. Um, you know what one of the biggest sports growing in Iran is? And this is the funniest thing in the world because you just don't even see the men or kids wearing clothes that you can see this happening in. Pickleball? Free running, like parkour. Oh, wow. When you run around and you use normal obstacles to do like kind of tricks on and stuff as you're running around, apparently there are gangs of young people in Iran and they get together in parks and they do these parkour challenges. It's gigantic in Iran. It's like 5% of total parkour. So cool. (laughs) The other 95 is like, whoa, buddy. Iran is one of the large, uh, is the world's largest producer of saffron, of course, which is a spice worth more than gold. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good luck getting some. And the thing that is really um, uh, rude in public if you're in Iran, and it is a major no-no. So if you ever happen to go to Iran, I know a lot of people probably have plans. Ah. Very safe for Americans. Um, Do not blow your nose in public. If you blow your nose in public, it is a big, big deal in Iran. Really? Considered one of the rudest things you can do is blowing your nose. You're supposed to dip into a bathroom, a washroom, or go around a corner and blow your nose there. It should never be done in public. What, that's just kind of like I, I I would have thought it was spitting. Yeah, no, no. Because uh, watching the baseball game this morning, I was like, huh, they're yeah. not doing any spitting. And I wondered if it was because they are playing in Seoul, South Korea. And, that, and that's a thing there? That's I don't why, know. Yeah. I just noticed that yeah, yeah. when you watch American baseball in America, oh, it's spitting. Pfft, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. every three seconds from, yeah. the, from the dugout to the bullpen, it, they're spitting. But I noticed this morning, not a single player was oh, spitting when they wow. were. So I don't know. I, I, I just assumed, but if someone could answer now, that. I didn't write this one down, though, but soccer is the biggest sport in Iran right now. It is the biggest sport in Iran. What do you think the number one and number two sports are in Iran? I'm going to go polo. Nope. Cricket. Nope. I thought it would be cricket. It is not. Camel racing. No. Rugby. No. Auto racing. No. Horse racing. No. Dog. And you what? If you go back and watch your Olympics, you can know this. Uh, Ar- curling. Iranians have been free wrestling at a very high level for really? eons. Apparently, Iranian that. wrestlers and weightlifters, guys like that, are beast. The other one, volleyball. Whoa, volleyball never would have guessed that. Volleyball is gigantic in Iran as well. All right, let's get some thoughts, dog. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. Uh, I'm leaning into my nerdum. Listen, if you play video games, if you used to play video games, do you think about you're about playing video games? Just don't touch the radio station. I got you. I got to lean into my nerdum for my nerds, baby. Right, well, Hydro Thunder. We're about to nerd it up next. <laughs> Hydro Thunder. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Traffic remains slow on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound in the Orlando area by the major attractions exits. A serious crash northbound on the turnpike has closed all northbound lanes on the toll road in Canoe Creek. This will be between the Canoe Creek Service Plaza exit and the Three Lakes Toll Plaza exit. If you run into other traffic problems this afternoon, make sure you call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. 
Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Rebath in Mid Florida. Friends, Dave and Josh Denbauer. It's a father and son team, guys, and they are awesome people. Just met with them this past Tuesday to talk about just how things are going, crushing it. And one of the reasons is this. These guys do such good work. Their install installation teams have been with them for years, 10, 12, 15 years, which is simply unheard of in the construction business. But the reason why is because Dave and Josh treat their employees great. And as, as a matter of fact, if you are if you do get a bathroom from Rebath, there's a better than good chance that one of those guys will be there working on your job. They care about how the jobs come out. And here's why, because they give you great products. There's no reason not to have an unbelievable installation, and that's what you get. Beautiful products, travertine, marketing. Marble, they have those natural stones and multiple choices of sinks and tubs and lighting and cabinetry. Guys, listen, you go in there with their catalog and their design team and the world is your oyster. You can come up with any design that you love that really does enhance your home. They do this every day and they're waiting to do it for you. And if you're worried about integrity, if you're wondering, are these good people? You know, the blue and the orange big DIY stores everybody goes to? Rebath installs their bathrooms for them. So if they can trust Rebath, you can as well. Drop by the website, look at the before and after, see what they've done for people, then book your appointment because your new bathroom is waiting for you in Altamont at RebathMidFLA.com. Orlando Science Center has spring break down to a science. Your child can play to learn in Kids Town. Now at Orlando Science Center, it's four floors of fun and discovery waiting for you. Explore the technology of transportation with going places. Build your own dream creation in the make space or get face to face with the t-rex in the dinosaur exhibit little ones can splash climb and tinker their way to learning in kids town and more admission includes access to all exhibits movies and live shows get tickets and info at osc.org tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people but for business owners it can mean the opposite hey this is rc hill from rc hill mitsubishi in the land my accountant said i need to reduce my tax burden now so i'm going to overpay for your old car because i'd rather give you the money than the government get up to four thousand two hundred ninety seven dollars more for your old car than it's actually worth no matter where you bought the car no matter how many miles are on it it's simple trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a mitsubishi mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty that means most people can trade and lower their payment or let me double your tax refund up to twenty five hundred dollars rc hill mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores my goal this month is a hundred percent credit approval this month my prices will not be beat this sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. At International Diamond Center, nobody tells our story better than our own non-commissioned diamond experts. In the 17 years that I've been in this industry, I have never been able to offer my clients the things that I can offer at IDC. What's best about our company is that we have access to far more options than most retailers typically do. None of us are paid on commission at all, so our interests are pure. We always encourage people to shop around because we know that our prices are good enough. You will be back. It's not a selling environment at all. We want to know what's most important to you and help you get there. We take care of your ring for life. We invite you in as an extension of our family. It's about helping each client achieve what they want to become a hero. When we approach it in such a straightforward manner, it's refreshing. They almost look at you with a sigh of relief, like you take the mystery away. The merchandise that we have is unmatched. The prices that we have are incredibly competitive. Our quality is unsurpassed. International Diamond Center. Discover the difference. Our people. Get store hours, directions, and more at shopidc.com. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Tools Ace Hardware.
let me tell you a story. I had a client who got injured. He only asked for the insurance company to cover his rent for three months. They said no. We ended up getting him $325,000. Just call Mo. No do it. Orlando's injury attorneys. Prospective client may not obtain the same result results. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Score zero percent APR financing on popular models like Rogue. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. See dealer for details. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD One Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Are you offended? Obviously, we're only kidding. You're listening to the Jim Colbert Show. Hello, Colbert crew. What did it do? You know, Lou. Ross, I'm going to call you out. I'm a nerd, too. And I still say, Final Fantasy VII. That's the only way to go, my friend. Final Fantasy VII was the GOAT. How many in? Four? Five? Oh, more than that. <laughs> Bottles? Yeah. There's an open running sink in the background. It's <laughs> an open... That's, not, about, a, that's no. not a sink. That's a keg. <laughs> just yeah, pouring yeah. onto the floor. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. We love hearing from you, by the way. You yeah, can all, we do. You okay. can always leave us a talk back, big dog. We're just funning. You can, you're perfectly fine. Everything's cool. We love hearing from you. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. You want to check the show out live? You can do that on YouTube, actually. Just go to jimcoberlive.com, click right through. Once you're there, give us a like and subscribe. We appreciate that greatly. I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. Jack is right there. Word. And Ross talks now. It's weird. Man. It's funny. I was talking to a friend. Sometimes. I know I've shared this with you. It's Ross. Many times. Spelled like sauce. But parents. It's Ross thoughts. I'm about to be a parent, and one of the things that I am absolutely looking forward to is, uh, you know, playing video games with my son. I think that's going to be too How good dope. is that going to be, dude? That's going to be heavy. I, I got a, I had a, I had a small portion of time where I played Tiger Woods golf with my boy. And it had to have been it was a blast. Gr- it was great. Memories were made. Core memory unlocked. Yeah, here's what happened, though. He takes it too seriously. I beat him really bad at Tiger Woods golf. He goes, great job, Dad. Takes the entire console into his bedroom, stays it for two weeks, comes back out and beats me by 25 shots. Yeah. <laughs> no, not my household. <laughs> Gaming over. Yep. So, but, like... It's probably if I what really stemmed this Ross thoughts was that I was like, man, what is the biggest difference between you and I between me and you? Yeah. And it would absolutely be the hobby, affection, respect, love, affinity towards video games like video games probably made like. I I don't know, man. This sounds really harsh, so I won't say it. But let's just say that (laughs) video games are in easily a top three, top four biggest impactor on my life. Okay. And it taught me how to save money. Well, that business is greater than the recording business and the movie business combined. It's massive. It's that big of a business. But there's so many things that I know I can say that in it. It doesn't necessarily bother me, but it almost makes you just want to take advantage of it. Like when, when, if I say Hydro Thunder. Yeah, I know you were doing something. That yeah, had to be yeah, a, a, I know that had to be video game related, yeah, but I Hydro, don't know. Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder. <laughs> You're not, Hydro Thunder. You're not bad at it. Hydro Thunder. Jack, do you remember Hydro Thunder? I do not remember Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder. Jack, Hydro, Dev, uh, give us a... Hydro Thunder. Yeah. Never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. You guys are all crushing it, man. It's really it's my making, new podcast name. It's making that. every 33 year old right now just oh really? Just cry happiness because <laughs> they forgot about how sweet that narrator voice was when you launched the video game right. Hydro Thunder. All right, let's have some fun then. All right, I'm gonna go hydro, you say hydro, Jack says hydro, you say thunder. Got it. Hydro. 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 Thunder. Oh man. Oh, so good. Dude, millennials <laughs> need clean up on aisle millennial. <laughs> hydro Thunder was an arcade game. And the reason why I bring it up is because uh Hydro Thunder, if you were a little brother, video games, that was war. 
video games is how I learned how I obtained respect for my older brother. Right. When I when you are that six to twelve year old age and you have that older brother who is yeah. constantly whooping that ass. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You whooped my ass, but I just murked you in this game. So. Yeah. I could never beat my brother in anything until Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder hit that N sixty four. Whoo! I whooped him. And I never let it go. Same thing with Diddy Kong Racing. There's just so many video games that I Diddy genuinely... Kong. No, yeah, no, they didn't okay. do that. They, okay, okay. I'll, that, stop. Yeah. I'll stop. <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> I like I'm not them. saying that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I save that for OnlyFans. She'll save that during the break. <laughs> but there, there's just... I like. I wish I could give you so many video game experiences, Jim, like the Matrix. I wish I could just upload like a Final Fantasy VII. I wish you could, you know. Well, you said for years that the best video would be watching me try to play a modern video game. That would be the funniest thing you've ever seen. And it's like, and I'm. Just the fact that you called it a modern day yeah, video yeah, game. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, in his defense, retro <laughs> games are very, very Listen, popular the, right now. Look, the funniest part of that would be seeing me sit in front of my PlayStation trying to figure out where the quarter went. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I put it? Where do I put this? Where do I put this quarter, dog? Oh yeah, it's digital. How do I pay for it? You already did. <laughs> I've been trying to swipe my card in this card you take for an hour. Is it is it uh, Apple Pay? Is yeah. it Tap to Pay? I've been holding my phone against this thing for two days because <laughs> it won't let me play. How do I send a text here? I don't know. I just I I I look for. The real conversation that I had with myself was like, how much would I let my child play video games? And I've got a bad answer. The answer is a lot. You should not let them play a lot. <laughs> the answer is a lot. You, you have you're gonna have to set a limit on that, buddy. But there's some video games though. What's it? Wait, two hours? Is that enough? Can I have a good time in a two hour video game session? You can, but you have to. I don't want to get all serious here. Oh, you're please. having fun with the jokey jokey. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm talking about my son and how often I should let him play video here games. Comes, start, here comes real dad. Start in the beginning from the start. L- limits otherwise it, it, you can't take it back once you give it to them that's the it's two a lot harder. yeah you just start with yeah uh, a, a moderate moderation is the key for all aspects of your let, life let me ask you especially Jack, screen time let me ask you would you give your child a handheld video game like it was at a game boy yeah so they could carry the damn thing everywhere they went or would you make it so that they had to be at home to play the home console I'd like to say the latter, um, but it, what's going to happen is you're going to look for ways that, and you're going to need breaks and you're going to look for ways to entertain your child and mm. you're going to find it so much easier to hand them an electronic pacifier, there you go, whether it's a game system or a screen. Uh-huh. And it's really easy to do that. So daddy or mommy can focus on anything else. So but now here's my little thing, a uh-huh. little quirk. I... It, this is so sad and how powerful phones are and how easy it is to get, you know, different entertainment by flicking your thumb a half a centimeter. Yeah. I go out of my <laughs> way now to a certain degree. To, it's Sometimes it takes a little bit more to start that initial, like, inertia of turning on the video games. Okay. Because how many times do you get into that little K-hole on the internet? All of a sudden, you know, like... Everyone's done it. Maybe it, like it takes me. It takes effort for me to not just be on my phone for like twenty five minutes like that. Oh, so say, what's the K hole? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, well, just getting stuck. Oh, I do that all the time. YouTube all yeah, the time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Right? All the time. Buddy. Is it phone? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got, I got right? a combination of two. I, I do phone and uh, and my laptop. I do the same thing. So that to me, when you guys are talking about like screen time and being like, you don't let them you know, play too many video games. That is my video game, but like 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I now look at social media or cell phone screens with just the thumb scroll as the like, dude, you are, this is going nowhere fast. At the very least in a video game, this might sound crazy, Jim. There is a certain, oh, uh, there's a certain level of discipline. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Well, isn't it because you have to reach a certain level, so it can't be there's, infinite. There's, there's a finite amount of time. There, well, there's, sometimes there's a finite yeah. amount of time, but more importantly, like, it's hard. 
uh, Facebook well, is not hard. It's not challenging. Yeah, it, yeah, because it, you're just you're just going through it, looking yeah. for anything to catch your eye. But I get you because this the last night when my son and I finished blowing that insulation in the ceiling, we wrapped everything up. I said, "What are you doing for the rest of the night?" And he said, "You know, I'm going to go nerd out," and which means he's going to go. You know, sit there. He says some video, and games. I said, well, "What are you gonna nerd down?" He goes, "Well, I'm gonna play my game. I gotta go find this magic asparagus." <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: use the magic asparagus as a. It's a great example and metaphor for literally everything else. Do you want that? You have to do the following: A, B, C, D, and E mm. to get said magical asparagus, which social media does not provide that. There is no story. There is no pacing. It's just content on top of content. Yeah. And I just really, really like the idea of seeing my son, you know, beat a 45-hour yeah. story role-playing Yeah, game. because, I mean, the thing is, either they find the magic asparagus or they learn how to turn a 45 into a semi-automatic or an automatic weapon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, magic That's asparagus, stupid. change a tire, same thing. Yeah, I got you. Regardless. Barter for a wagon. I'm just trying to do my best. <laughs> Magic. To let people know that video games, uh, they they can teach you something. So if you have kids, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is RuneScape considered cool? I mean, is it still have a thing? Is I, RuneScape still a thing? I would honestly, I would say any MMO, a really big multiplayer online game like that, right? Those aren't gonna ever really be deemed as cool, cool, right? But I'm fine with it. Because there's quest games, right? Yeah, That's yeah. Like thing? all those things, those are always gonna right. fall into like a if like if you have friends that you've never met, the, some people I would say society like I've got a couple friends of Final Fantasy 14 who I've never met from like years ago. How weird is that? Pretty weird. And I've done like little quests with them and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we talked. <laughs> check, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? We kick it. We kick it in the realm. Yeah, yeah. His name? It's like Oktar Blazar <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Oktar. Yeah. Those are your Ross thoughts. Video games can teach you some stuff. Uh, 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 Facebook can't. Those are your Ross thoughts. I'm out. Peace. All right. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Text us at seven seven. Only Z Jack clapped. <laughs> the only <laughs> other gamer. Yeah, I love it. Zero three one. <laughs> Had to keep it real, Ross. <laughs> Hydro Thunder. Hydro. 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 Thunder. All right, back in a second. Ozempic and Wagovi are having other side effects. Oh, no. And this one is really interesting. I'll tell you what that is next. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Hey! Don't come around here no more. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Looking at a slow ride on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, both east and westbound on the interstate, especially by the major attractions exits. A serious crash has closed all northbound lanes on Florida's Turnpike between the Canoe Creek Service Plaza and the Three Lakes Toll Plaza. If you see other traffic problems, make sure you call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. It's time to fall in love with your home all over again with new windows from Renewal by Anderson. And honestly, Renewal by Anderson could not make the process any easier for you. First, just give them a call. Visit rbafla.com or better yet, stop by their showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park to schedule a free in-home consultation. Then they're going to meet you in the comfort of your home at a time that's convenient for you so the design consultants from Renewal by Anderson can see exactly what the vision is for your home. Lastly, sit back and relax because you've chosen a company that can handle your replacement project from start to finish and you can get started now. During the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus no money down, no payments and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613.
Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Are you all worked up and working too much? You know what y'all need? Y'all need to chill out. Y'all need to have fun. Y'all need some adventure. Why? Y'all need Gatorland. How do we know? Ain't no one got more animals, more gators, or more fun than Gatorland. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less. With 1750 admission, now through the end of March. We know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now, like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need new windows? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. This is why YouTube was created at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. I had a best friend of nine years that just turned around one day and decided um, to try and ruin my life. Um, Spread rumors that me and my wife were doing hard drugs, tried to get our kids taken away from us, just complete 180 from the person that I'd known the previous nine years. And it was all over, I think, his girlfriend or something. Yeah, that's not good. Brutal. Yeah, by the way, if you want to get in on our question of the day, that's exactly what it is. Have you ever been betrayed by a friend? You could go to our YouTube chat room. It's there. Also, our Instagram account is there as well. Yes, at Real Radio 1041 on Instagram in the story. 
Very nice. And uh, you can go to our YouTube channel, jimcobertlive.com. Click right through while you're there. Please give us a subscribe and like. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps us out quite a bit. We appreciate it greatly. Uh, welcome back. I am Jim. Deb and Jack are, and Ross are here as well. All right. So these drugs are a big deal, guys. Ozempic, uh, Wagovi, Mongiorno, a lot of these semiglutides and other weight loss drugs that were designed for people with diabetes have become like miracle drugs for people who uh, have had a very difficult time managing their weight. Oprah just did a primetime special uh, last week. On right. It. Yeah. And, and ended one of her longest endorsements uh, to do that. She'd weight been Watchers, with uh, Weight right. Watchers for many, many years as their one of their uh, flagship spokespeople. And uh, she ended that relationship after she had such great was, uh, success with which one was she taking, Jack? I I don't know that. <clears throat> yeah, was, yeah. She it, didn't uh, she didn't reveal which one that she's yeah. taking. She just revealed that right. she has taken it. And then it, it turns out a lot of people, even if it's just like 20, 30 pounds that maybe you you gained over you know, the pandemic that you needed to shed. It's its not just for morbidly obese individuals. Right. A lot of people have been taking it just to help get that last 10, right, 20, yeah. 30 off. Sure. It, uh, you know, it has been very effective. I mean, it's like mir- miraculous. And to be honest with you, a lot of the side effects have been positive. I mean, one of the only side effects that have been negative is is that stomach thing that they have, the, the stomach paralysis, which is a big problem. But they've even shown that some of the drugs help with cardiovascular issues. And other heart issues as well. That oh, they, yeah. They, they're a positive effect on that. And not only just because of the weight loss, which is obvious, um, but for other reasons as well. Well, it drops your cholesterol. When sure, you yeah. lose that kind of weight, then the blood pressure meds you have to right, take, yeah. you can stop. The cholesterol meds, you right. can stop. So the statins or whatever statins, it is, right? Yeah. yeah. There's still a level of sketchiness sure there is. for me for all three of them. Because any drug that's like, we made it for this. Oh, it does that too. Yeah, it does that too. Well, that's Correction. Make, we but, made it for this. That's happened a lot of. <laughs> that, that's actually happened a um, number of times oh, uh, yeah. throughout history, where yeah. one drug was created for something and actually had another effect, and and it went on to do quite well in that world. Well, butrin is what became the uh, smoking cessation drug. Beca- I mean, well, butrin's an antidepressant, and they noticed psychiatric patients reduce the amount of smoking when they were taking it. And then I can't remember the name of the drug as the as the smoking cessation. Uh, Botox is another one yeah. that was for headaches, fine lines and wrinkles. And then it came out for migraine uh, headache prevention, as well as hypohidrosis. If so, drugs can change who they are, so can you. Right, exactly. <laughs> Very good, Ross. I appreciate that. So there is one of these side effects that hasn't been talked about. Matter of fact, this is the first story I've ever seen about it. What do you think one of the one of the really irregular side effects of taking Ozempic uh, not so much Wagovi, but Ozempic and Manjaro. Manjaro, is that what it's called? Manjaro. Manjaro, there you go. Buongiorno. No, yeah, yeah. What do you think the side effect is? Please don't tell me it's a discharge. Uh, uh, it's hair, not a discharge. Hair growth. It's not a growth. Let me, let me, it does not, it doesn't have any effect on your body as it is. In other words, you don't get darker, tanner, your hair doesn't fall out, your eyes don't change color, none of that. But for some people, increased flatulence. For some people, Cures your body depression. your body changes <laughs> dramatically. For some people, innies into outies. Mm-mm. Damn. Uh, yep. For some people, your body can train can change dramatically if if you're taking these drugs. Um, uh, boners, loose stool. No, not loose stool or boners. You ready? Breasts on men. Body odor. You become left-handed. There's a term. Hey. Al- there's a term already. Facebook groups, Reddit threads, TikTok videos are connecting this with pregnancy. What? what? Nice. Pregnancy. Now, here's what's happening. Specifically with Mangiorno, uh, or excuse me, is it? Yeah, Manjaro is what it is. There's no N at the end there. Manjaro, right? The drug actually affects the efficacy of oral contraceptives. Oh, a horrible way to find that Because out. what happens is this. <laughs> the the drug affects your stomach and how long the food or how long things Anything. stay in your stomach. And that would include medication so, for birth control. So what happens is, is your body does not absorb the medication as quickly as possible. And they started noticing that women taking Oz, uh, Ozempic and Monjarno, even after being on birth control still wound up getting pregnant. Now, the other one, Wagovi and the other semiglutides that don't really show this kind of effect, 
It's still happening because did you guys know this, which I did not know until today. And by the way, this is not a slam on anybody. This is, it is what it is, right? Did you guys know that bigger women had a, had a really difficult time getting pregnant? Did you guys know that? I did not. I well, believe think, it has something to do with the hormone levels with the ratio of muscle to fat. So think about this. You're, part of it, you're 100% right. But part of this, how many bigger women, and I think we kind of understand what we mean by bigger women, right? What would you say size? Is that size like 18 and bigger? Morbidly obese. Okay, so more, but bigger, it doesn't even say morbidly obese. It just has bigger women that carry extra weight, maybe 20 or 30 pounds, 40 pounds of extra weight is what they're saying. Those women have had stereotypically a very difficult time getting pregnant in their lives. And it turned out that when they started taking these drugs to lose weight, not only because of its uh, effect on the efficacy of oral contraceptives, but the weight loss itself, like Deb was saying, actually helps your body create a more um, a fertile environment to be able to get pregnant. Crazy, right? Well, yeah. I've got good news for my wife when I get home. <laughs> Scientifically, you're not bigger. It says um, these drugs can help people drop up to 20% of their body weight, helping many women with these conditions get pregnant. It says the weight loss medications are game changers with women with a thing called PCOS or, or, or infer- infertility. Um, but there's nothing about them specifically that makes por- people more fertile. And it says uh, this woman got pregnant uh, after uh, four months after beginning a semiglutide. She started taking the drug to lose weight and treat her insulin resistance association. And it turns out she wound up getting pregnant, positive pregnancy test. And uh, then they started kind of looking at how this affects people with that are, you know, that have not been able to get pregnant. And then they start taking the drug and then wound up getting pregnant. Now they say that once you wind up, once you find out you're pregnant, you immediately have to stop taking the the drug. You have to stop taking, like, whether it be uh, Manjaro, whatever the case may be, you have to stop taking it. Yeah, if you're pregnant, you're going to gain weight. Yeah, yeah. It says obesity also causes insulin resistance as well, which can lead to high levels of male sex hormones like testosterone, which do not support pregnancy and affect egg quality as well. I thought this stuff was fascinating. I mean, I was just looking at it. I was like, well, I had no, for one thing, I had no idea that these drugs affected them. And then secondly, I had no idea that bigger women had a problem getting pregnant. I had no idea. I would also think, I I don't know. It's just, I, I know, uh, I've always wanted, my mom has always been on, you know, on, on the heavier side of two things mm-hmm. uh, on that scale. And I would say that I, I think I've v- been very public before about this, that I always wanted my mom to go on dates after my dad passed. Yeah, yeah. I was I was rooting for Bill old Dooley, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill Dooley, man. You messed up. Yeah, you, yeah. Missed your, you dropped a dime right there. My mom's a great woman. It says here, weight loss is correcting uh, hormonal imbalances, like you were saying. Uh, caused by obesity and metabolic disorders, and thus boosting fertility. So when you're big like that, a lot of things that are happening in your life uh, and in your body don't really allow your body to get pregnant, to really go through the process of, you know, what it takes to fertilize an egg. Fascinating stuff. I read the story today. I was like blown away. So if you're out there and you're taking these drugs and you're having sex, what they're saying is you better start using a condom on top of your oral contraceptive if you're using these specific drugs, Ozempic and Majorna or Manjaro specifically. Yeah, that's where my concern is, is like I hope the manufacturers and doctor's offices who've prescribed this have kind of said, listen, we don't have any anecdotal data right now to say definitively this is the case, but if you really don't want to be in the family planning way, you're going to want to Double up on your <laughs> right, right. Double up on your stuff. There, there's That's another so drug fun. called Zep. I know, but called Zep Bound. Z E P Bound is Zep Bound is another drug that reduces the oral uh, con- that reduces the efficacy of oral contra- contraception. It says they delay gastric emptying, which means the stomach takes longer to clear out, which can affect how oral medications are absorbed into the body. The day is the delay is the longest after the very first dose and diminishes over time. It says, man, if you're using this stuff, uh, you got to make sure that you're wearing a condom if you are not planning to get pregnant. Well, not only that, it also makes me wonder what the efficacy of other medications. I mean, what if someone is still taking a statin or, you know, a cholesterol drug and maybe aren't seeing the numbers that they want? Maybe this is another angle for doctors instead of saying, well, we got to add another medication because your A1C isn't exactly where we want it to be. Maybe now they go back and go, hmm, I wonder if this 
in this slowdown process you've created in the stomach is now creating other health yeah. issues outside of the side effects. Like when I read the story, I was like, I feel like I have to say this just so people know. Because you know, not a lot of people read the news every day or go through news or, or really, you know, take up this kind of stuff. They don't like, you know, sift through you know website like we have to. So I felt literally this is almost like a public service announcement today. Like if you are using these drugs and oh, you're yeah. still having sex and you, you don't want to get you, pregnant. You, you have to understand that there is a high possibility that even if you don't expect to, you could be more for, fertile or get pregnant. That Peanut, my 25-year-old daughter, was conceived while my wife was on birth control. Wow, really? And was prescribed another medicine that made the birth control ineffective. What was it? I don't remember. Oh, really? Wow. Was it called like anti-birth control? <laughs> you would really think they would tell you that, right? Like if there was a, even a possibility, hey, by the way, if you're taking these drugs, you they may want to You may want to also use a condom if you're having sex because we have found that these drugs really increase <gasps> your possibility of having a child. Maybe they did and she did it to uh, try yeah. oh, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. My poor ass at the time. <laughs> <laughs> And then lastly here, before we uh, get out of here, I, I know that we have, uh, you heard it here first coming up, but have you guys heard about one of the new things that's happening? Have you, do you, you ever heard of a dry promotion? Dry promotion? A dry promotion? No alcohol? No. I don't know if I want that. You want to? No, you do not want a dry promotion. It doesn't sound good. You I, wanna, I want my promotions wet. As soon as you said dry, you, you lost me. Yeah. There's nothing good. Sorry. There's nothing good dry. No. <laughs> uh, what do you think that means? What do you think a dry promotion is? promotion with no money no money that's exactly what it is oh man a dry promotion which is a new thing by the way uh so they say a growing share of u.s employers are offering what's known as a dry promotion which is a no raise promotion a worker gets upgraded title and more job responsibilities <laughs> but not an upgraded compensation <laughs> It says here, the trend isn't new, and I thank them for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Well, uh, but, this is awkward. It says, but trends <laughs> tend to resurface, and when the economy falters, according to Wall Street Journal, it says the number of employers offering people new job titles in lieu of uh, raises has increased 5% to 13% <laughs> in 2024. Oh, so 13% of the companies say, you know what? We think you're awesome. Here's your new business card. You got two more jobs. Right. right. You, uh, the segment you just banged out two topics that directly affect me. <laughs> <laughs> so you I don't sound happy about that, Jack. It, yeah, it says, uh, in the end, in the end, the money went, but at first, when I was promoted to assistant program director, there, there was, oh, yeah, there was no change. There's no change. No. Just, it says, like a bar that doesn't serve alcohol, dry promotions like the heady ingredient that most clearly signals how much a business values an employee. Uh, money. Uh, so how should workers respond when their boss asks them to take on greater role without getting any more compensation? And it says they should apply that you should reply by negotiating and just to negotiate. You'll go, Oh, you want me to do this job and have this title? Well, if there's no money, maybe we can do this. Maybe days off, maybe, you know, maybe something else. You can get maybe a new office. Who knows? You can get your titles on out of here. This exactly. Isn't Game of Thrones. You're not going to call me like, <laughs> you know, son of Roger Paget. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's a title they could give me in lieu of money that I would even be. I would even want like Supreme Leader of the World. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think, I'll take fifty cents more an hour instead, please. Do you think I'm Dwight Schrute, where the whole assistant <laughs> to the regional manager trick is going to work on me? <laughs> That's not going to happen. Yeah. I'm keeping my stapler. Dog. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I don't know the titles. I that that is a great PSA. Watch out for them titles. Yeah, I really. I yeah. Went, I saw that today, and I was like, I've seen that happen a couple times for sure. I've seen it. Look, I've seen it happen to other people. It's never been like this. Has never happened. I've never been offered a dry promotion in my life. Either they give you the cash or they don't. I want it's it that damp. simple, huh? I want it. I want my promotions damp, moist. <laughs> oh, I want them soaking wet. I want them sloppy. Yeah, I want to do like a just oozing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're. I want. I want to need a snorkel for <laughs> okay. my promotion. <laughs> okay, that's actually that was better. <laughs> <laughs> I want fins. I need floaties. <laughs> I want, I want a lifeguard next to my promotion. I want to pass a scuba class at my promotion. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm trying to go swim. Right. I want to die in a sub well, in my want, promotion. Yeah, with four other people. That's how I want, I want my I want my promotion to implode on me that's and how turn much. me into a mist. I want to be overly confident with the PS2 controller on my promotion. All right. I want to walk in, see very little effort and detail, and think, yeah, yeah, this is gonna work. I want to be like cameo. I want it to feel like I'm walking in the rain. <laughs>
Nobody? All right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 7... Or was that Orange Juice Jones? That was Orange well, Juice it, Jones, it was. wasn't it? Yes, walking in the okay, rain. Okay, so it's my fault it bombed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Cam- that, cameo is word up. Right, word you, up. You said cameo. I was thinking about the app. Oh, that's funny. Like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't get it. Whatever. Old man. All right, 407-916-1041. Let's load them up for last call, guys. We have five lines open. Can you be funny? I dare you. Can you make us laugh? I bet you can't. 407-916-1041. Give it your shot. We'll do that next here on the Jim Colbert Show. Got something to say? Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Barney. Yeah. Call now, 407-916-1041. Last call, sponsored by Life Imaging FLA. Now open. Call pound 250, keyword free heart scan. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. What's going on in Central Florida? Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Noah Bergen here. We're looking at scattered showers and storms Friday morning. A break in the midday and afternoon, then some more sporadic activity in the evening. I don't think anything severe for Central Florida. That'll be confined to South Florida. Uh, Then on Saturday, another round, an opportunity for showers and storms between mid-morning and mid-afternoon. Some of those storms, though, could be strong to severe. So heads up for that for your Saturday plans. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Time to be a hero. Tell some friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. It is a game changer. 70-plus people have had their lives altered or saved courtesy of Life Life Imaging FLA, and that's one of the many reasons I told my father-in-law and my mother-in-law about it. As I get a little bit older, you want to make sure there are no surprises with your health, and that's the problem. People just kind of rest on their laurels and think, well, I feel okay now. I must be okay. That isn't the way it works as you age. We've had couples come up to us in public saying, we thank you so much for your endorsement of Life Imaging FLA. We thought we were both fine, went in, and my wife thought I was going to have the problems. It turns out that she had the problems. Seven days later, in surgery that saved her life. That's what they do at Life Imaging FLA. They save lives. Early detection can do that. No dyes. You don't take off your clothes. This only takes a couple seconds. Do not wait. Do exactly what I did. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value. While you're there, it's important. Ask about the cancer screening as well. This is how easy it is. Simply pick up your cell phone and dial pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That is it. That's how you book your appointment. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make this the year that you take control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeartMedia. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm McCoffin and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800 919 It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and closeout pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com, home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. 
From the Bay Area to the city beautiful, the Golden State Warriors are making the cross-country trip to face off the Orlando Magic on Wednesday, March 27th. Be at Kia Center for this big game and catch all the action live as Paolo Bancaro, Franz Wagner, and the Magic go up against Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and the rest of the Warriors during their only visit to Orlando this season. Don't miss out. Get your tickets today at OrlandoMagic.com and be ready to cheer on your Orlando Magic. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is priceless. I'm attorney Mo DeWitt, and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of Florida. Injured on the go, just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS and Rite Aid. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Monday at 620 on the Jim Colbert Show. Ray Trendley and the Colbert crew will be discussing all things law and not law on a variety of topics. From the latest legal news to the best new movies. The construction services industry is booming. Find out if it's a fit for you on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Register at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text 352-243-7099. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Ross, I'm going to tickle your cockles here. Or, or cockle? Do we have multiple cockles or one cockle? Cockles. Cockles. Anyway, I cockle digress. Eye. Spyro the dragon, oh. bro. Oh. Turok the dinosaur keep, hunter, keep bro. Keep going. Keep going. Grand Theft Auto Three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. All right, oh. 407-916-1041. We do have three lines open for last call. If you'd like to grab one of those, we'd love to hear from you. I dare you to make us laugh. I bet you can't. <laughs> 407-916-1041. Little joke, little callback, something fun. Three lines open. 407-916-1041. Grab one. We'll do last call here in just one second. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack and Ross are right over there. And Deb has You Heard It Here First. It's time for You Heard It Here First on the Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, a chance for us to cover some of the stories that didn't break at the time of woke news. Uh, so let's just jump in with both feet. Apple is being sued for alleged antitrust law violations. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit filed by the Department of Justice along with 16 state and district attorneys general claims Apple has monopolized the smartphone market by blocking competitors from accessing hardware and software features of the iPhone. The DOJ also alleges Apple deliberately made the quality of cross-platform messaging worse to incentivize users of other smartphones like Android to switch to Apple, to iPhone rather. 
All right, several tons of supplies on their way to the International Space Station from Cape Canaveral. A Falcon 9 rocket lifted off right on time this afternoon, just before 5 p.m. local time from Cape Canaveral. The supplies are in the Dragon Cargo Capsule, now headed for a rendezvous with the ISS. One of my favorite words. <laughs> also wanted to let you know that the two convicted criminals who had escaped from prison from a hospital visit out in Idaho have been captured and arrested. So Very they nice. are no longer free. And then and finally, I thought of Ross with this because of his affinity with uh, stories from World War II. Sure thing. And, of course, having been that he's visited the USS Arizona. I have. Out in Hawaii. I've been to Pearl Harbor. So one of the last remaining survivors of the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor has died. Richard C. Higgins yeah. died of natural causes Tuesday at a home in Bend, Oregon. According to his granddaughter, he was 102. He was. Higgins was stationed at the Pearl Harbor Naval Base as a radio man, and Higgins previously said that during the airstrike, he was pushing planes away from each other as the bombs dropped. An official with the Sons and Daughters of Pearl Harbor Survivors estimates that there are now how many survivors remaining, do you think, Jimmy? Oh, three. Jack? Yeah, it was seven. Ross? I'll go American World War II survivors. Just survivors. No, uh, Pearl, Har Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Harbor. Yeah. Pearl Harbor survivors. Yeah. I'll go, yeah, four. 22. Oh, All right. really? All right. 22 survivors. Very good. And now you've heard it here first you on the it. Jim Colbert Show. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Coming up tomorrow, we'll have our good friend Fias Car for Primetime Kitchen. We'll also do Sink or Sale with our buddy Jack Bradshaw. Embers only tomorrow. And our friend Candace Rich for Rich Tips tomorrow. will be the first Friday I've worked in a couple weeks. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I just realized it today when somebody said something about it. And I'm so, taking the day yeah, off. Right. Exactly. All right, Deb, who do we have to thank today? Well, we want to thank Danny Meyering with Orlando Date Night Guy. Don't forget, Jack always posts her segment, so you can get to that at jimcolbertlive.com. That's right. Also want to thank attorney uh, Glenn Klausman from Klausman Law. Seb Hines, head coach of Orlando Pride. Don't forget, they've got their game tomorrow night, 8 p.m. at Inter and Coast Stadium. That was a great interview, by the it way. People who were not even interview. soccer people said it was a great interview. We'll have that up at Good, at the goods as well. He's and the I, king of queens. And I believe it's Orlando-Pride.com to get your tickets for yes. tomorrow night's game. And then last but never least, Sam Bowen and Candace Rich for running our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that greatly. Jack, I know we had a question of the day, boss. We do. In two different places, have you ever been betrayed by a friend? We had it on Instagram, also in our YouTube chat. And they are with only three percentage points from each other. Ooh. So we guess. can say it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty I, close. I think this is high. I think in your lifetime you've had a friend kind of kind of screw you over. I'm gonna say I'll say sixty seven percent of our audience. I'm going higher. I'll take the over. Yeah. How about the we're gonna say the average is eighty two percent. Damn. Whoa. Dude. Damn, there's some bad people in the world. That's terrible sucks. friends. It's a numbers game. Yeah, yeah you're gonna run into one. <laughs> yeah, you are gonna yeah, run that's into one. True. Uh, stand up, buddy. Yes. Uh, next Saturday, the 30th, Ocala, Florida, Marion Theater, downtown Ocala. I will be there March 30th. You can get your tickets on rosscomedy.com. Good. We appreciate that very much. Of course, you can follow him on his social media at Ross Pageant. Big projects coming out. Yeah, yeah. A lot of cool oh, stuff yeah. coming up. Your friend show's coming up soon, it soon is too. We're really excited about it. Big. Love that. All right, let's get to it. Let's do last call here. Tony, last call. Jimmy, why do drug dealers hate running out of toilet paper? Why do drug dealers hate running out of toilet paper? Do not know. Because when they run out of toilet paper, they have trouble wiping their crack. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. It took me a second on that one, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo. Michael P., last call. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, love you guys. I, I, I uh, congratulated Ross off air, but I want to congratulate you again, buddy. Thank you. On uh, the new newborn. Uh, but hey, Jimmy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Is uh, he still right. there? Hey, buddy. I guess his uh, phone dropped out. Yeah. All right. Or maybe he just hung up. Who knows? Maybe that was a bit. I, was that the joke? Just go silent? I just, I think I might have saw a small amount of karma there. Yeah, what happened? Because we've done that to some people here <laughs> on, on, on air. Hello? Mike, last call. Take us home, Larson. You know, I'm really offended that nobody got offended yesterday. Okay. Ah, Mike Buzzer Larson here. You know that group that has a lot of letters? Well, also, I was once a man trapped in a woman's body. You know how long, Jimmy? How long, buddy? 
nine months, and then I got out. Quack dog, give me the poster! Okay. Yeah, and spending okay. the rest of his life trying to get <laughs> yeah, back right, in, right, Mike. Right, we right. know that story. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. Big show coming up tomorrow. Like I said, we have Primetime Kitchen. We have Embers Only. We have Sinker Sale. We have Rich Tips. Your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long to end up the week and get into what is going to be a great weekend. On behalf of Deb, Jack, and Ross, I am Jim. We follow the new junkie. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, it's Tom and Dan with our corporate time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Wow. Until then, have yourself a fantastic Thursday evening. Yeah, bye. Just head but the mic. Good job. A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1. Looking at